What's up, guys? We are back, man. Ah, time to kick Godskin's ass today. What's up, Fry Value, dude? How you doing, man? Oh, what's going on here? Oops, spoilers. What's up, Z? What's up, Erzog? How are you guys doing, man? Welcome in, everybody. <clears throat> I hope everybody had a good rest of their weekend and a good Monday. Good start to their work week. There we go. That's better. No fun at all. I I I had some fun. I played some Halo with the girlfriend, like old old school Halo. Hmm. Ah, what do we have in incantations? Okay, let's remember what we we're doing. Oh yeah, Horfrost Stomp was the new strap. It did, Stinky. It did. No, my eyes are not quite open yet. I gotta get my coffee. <laughs> Z, nice to see you too. Mmm. Ah, coffee. All right. Well, let's let's warm up with this. Fuck it. Oof. You like an ammo? Uh oh. That was close. Alright, maybe we should throw some more sleep pots. I only have three. I probably want to wait. Ah, that was close. I'll use the physic. The bow is so good. Got caught up on the VODs? Hell yeah, dude. Uh, maybe one more. Ah! Be kind to me. I just woke up. Okay, the Horrorfrost Stomp's working pretty well here, actually. Alright. Wow, he loves this move today. Well. Oh, Godskin, don't fuck with me. Come on, Rot Breath. Okay, we got we got big boy rotted. Trying to think if we want to push the rot on Skinny. We'll try. Oh, we do not have the rot on Skinny still. Shit. Cardboard, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you as well. All right, let's just hit some nice, comfy carrier retaliations. To push this phase. Oh, that was close. Okay, maybe we can rob breast skinny you now. No! I shouldn't have done it like that. Fuck! I fucking locked on to him by accident. Oops. I'm too close. Too close to him. Okay, so what's the strat gonna be then here? Um. Ah, oh, dude, how are you alive? Okay, that should put him down. All right, so now what's the play? 
Get some bleeds on this guy. And some carrions. There's a bleed. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Okay, we got a second bleed proc. Alright. Let's just keep fighting the big boy. I think that's what we decided for the strat. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna consider sleeping skinny if we push this. And what up, Rune? Got the tiniest bit too close there, man. Just the tiniest bit. Oh, it's a fucking hard, man. It's fucking hard. <laughs> thank you, Notorious. Yeah, it was it was chill. Nameleon, thank you so much for the resub as well. Yeah, I, I was I was having a good time, man. Did some very minor cleaning, not enough, and then uh, hung out with the lady. It was relaxing. Dude, Goblin, thank you so much for the welcoming bits, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, let's get some more frost stomps down here. Oh. Maybe we should do Chilling Mist instead. I don't know what's easier. I get too close to them, and then I get caught in a fucking animation. Brutal. Fucking brutal. At least we didn't use a bunch of bolts that attempt. So that's nice. I'm gonna go in there and spam more Frost Stomp, see if we can't hit this guy. Maybe we can get both of them. Oh, fuck. Redo that, man. Yeah, we're at the gods can do. They're hard. They're fucking hard, man. <laughs> we, we, we got them to 50% on the first try. So, I mean, that wasn't bad. And then I just threw away the last two. And uh, let's lead with bleed bolts and carry metallion. More safe damage. Why do you keep thrusting? Ah, good morning, Gandalf. What's up, super big pimpin'? Oh! Little sketch. Alright, we got another bleed. Alright, we're going phase two. Well, we're just gonna carry retaliate him and then win. The plan. Actually, I missed those Horfrost stomps, so I wonder if I'm gonna need to poison him or do some more damage. I could just do lightning bolts. Terrible damage. I mean, I could see numbers, I'm pretty sure. 
It's yellow. Risky. Woo, what's up, second law? What's up, Zorn Hut? Got him down. I'll try to poison this guy. Ooh. That was close. One more. Poison this guy then. Oof. Luckily, they are super is super weak to status damage. Ah, I mean we just do the same thing, right? What's up, Mesh? Nice and easy. Oh, the risky reload. God, now he's got a billion bleed resistance. Just won't bleed now. Where is it gonna happen? There's one. Okay. Let's see if we can ride him again. slow to get that rot. Okay, we got the rot. I'm gonna throw some sleep pots. I'm saying fuck this shit right now. <laughs> fuck this shit. Uh, well, I should poison him first and then throw a sleep pot. And then he should sleep the eternal slumber. That fireball tracks a lot better from further range because I've been jumping them. I don't know, but I was too far away. I guess I didn't jump it. Uh, Fairmazel's been training as well. God's getting fucking hard. Who would have thought? Alright, let's get some sleep pots in the mix there. <laughs> I got the eternal slumber. <laughs> Cranky Reef Yoshi, what's up, guys? Hassan to anyone that I may have missed. We have a new controller in our life, and it feels fucking awesome. <laughs> it feels so good. We do indeed. Alright, I should go for the Frostbuck first. Because then I can do some extra damage off just the arrows. Slight optimization. Okay, because this it's not gonna be much, but it's a little damage. I 
I, I literally don't know if we can even see an extra damage. The numbers are so low. I'm not sure. That was my fault for not dodging that fucking black flame, though. That was that was a sad death. I did get a present from my girlfriend. I did. Thank you for asking. Got a new controller for myself. Got a present for the girlfriend. Shit's pretty good. Alright, alright. Let's get a rock. Maybe. That's risky. Oh, we got it, though. Oh. Oh, shit. We got the double. We got the rod, man. This is nice. All right, let's shoot just lightning bolts here. I didn't use my physic. Let's be safe when we use that. That's safe enough. That bonus rot's gonna help quite a bit. So I'm wondering about what order. Triple Willy, Anki, what's up, guys? I wonder what, when do we want to use the sleep pot? I don't know if I want to push this guy into phase two. You know what? Fuck it. Ah, shit. You know what, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Where is some poison mist? We're gonna try to kill this guy. Fuck him. Okay, he's not rotted, so should we wake up Rot Breath now? I think we should. Did that take? That did. Oh, please tell me that sleep pot's gonna work. Nice. Is he rotted? Oh, hell yeah, he's rotted. Hell yeah. He might die just from that. I'm hoping. Very much hoping so. He's probably gonna wake up though. But I don't know, he's good. it's going pretty quick. So when Fatty goes to phase two, we could put Fatty to sleep too. Maybe I should poison Mr. Megan. Oh, he might be just dead. No, oh, please die. Please die. No. Oh my god, that was scary. I want one more bleed before I put him to sleep. Fuck. So now what? Shit. Uh, 
Let's put this one to sleep. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. It's gonna take two sleep pots. Maybe not, maybe we'll stand out. Oh, lucky. Okay, so another rod breath. We got another rod. Hype. I'm gonna get this poison and put him to sleep too. Fuck all this shit. All right, he's poisoned. No. Fuck. I don't know how I want to do this now. I whiffed it. No more sleep. Oh, we got him. We got him asleep. Okay. Let's poison this guy. Oh, I need to poison mist him. I don't know what to do. I need to poison that one while he's sleeping. Salsa, thank you so much for the resub. Yeah, we don't really need to poison that guy when he's sleeping, I guess, because this is the hard one to poison. Okay, we got him poisoned. Ah, oh, this guy's in phase two, though. So close. Oh, we got him poisoned too. Fucking hell. He's gotta be close to a bleed proc. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now what? <laughs> now what do we do? Uh, bleed this guy? You shouldn't have that high bleed resistance right now. I haven't bled this one much. Okay. I actually don't want him to go phase two. 
We're gonna just poison big boy. Cheeky, thank you so much for the 22 months. <laughs> All we gotta do is get a poison on him. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's got a little bit of poison resistance. There it is! There it is! Max range. Double hits there. Don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> How are you? Yes. <laughs> oh man, that was hard. <laughs> that was fucking hard. Oh shit, dude has so much poison resistance at the end. Well, it took like fucking 15 arrows or some shit. <laughs> oh man, thanks for the GG's guys. It's nice to get that one out of the way nice and early today. Cheers everybody. New controller, man, hype. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That was a very long fucking fight, man. We did kill Rikard, yup. We did, now it's all fair Missoul. Which includes plaid socks as well. Which is which is gonna be a hard fight. Uh, let's go buy some more bolts. Cause fuck, we went through quite quite a lot of bolts, I think, there. Oh yeah, we need kukris as well. We're completely out of kukris. Yeah, that was a very long fight, man. Holy shit. Record took a couple hours. Record probably took longer than Godskin Duo. I think. Nice. Uh, what else do we need? What are we low on right now? Man, we almost went through all of our Serpent Heroes fighting, fighting those guys. Oh yeah, we gotta craft those. So buy some Serpent Arrows. We're good on Blood Boon. Oh, did we go through all of our bird bolts? No. We'll go buy some more of those, too. That oh, was fucking nice. Oh, it feels so good to get that out. Oh, our victory is Alexander Shard, guys, too. And White Bad, thank you for the bits as well. Oh my god, you're right, we have Bernal. Oh, fuck, Bernal's gonna be hard. That one wasn't as hard as the spirit calling ones. I thought they might be easier. What am I looking for? Holy shit, Ganasha, thank you so much. Which one of these guys? Oh, yeah. Ah, we got a lot of those. We should have probably just crafted some. Uh, what else do we need to buy? I guess we'll buy more poison shit. Thank you so much, Ganasha. Yeah, being able to rot them made Congrats, it. Snap. And that's the face. difference. I mean, status effects in general. 
so hard to do the snail. We did it pretty fast, but I still think it was harder. I think we got kind of lucky. Merchant. Not that way. Yeah, Kirby. I mean, then he'll just come again, though, right? It's not that big of a deal. It's not like uh, he leaves forever, right? Oh, how nice. Top off. Ah, I guess we were low on fire arrows. And then who sells? Oh, yeah, this guy, I think. Sells something important. Yeah, yeah, Bernal is going to be really hard. He is. I also don't really know what I'm going to use against plaid socks. Asper? But I'm using this. We actually ladder cheese the pyro uh, and the mountaintops. <laughs> I was like, fuck this fight. We're cheesing the shit out of him. All right, that looks good for me. I don't think we're short on anything that we need now. We got kukris and all that jazz. How many sleep pots? How many tuna sullies do we have left? We still have 14 left, so... Something to keep in mind if we fight any other sleep bosses. Yeah, I don't think the damage really matters. How do we beat Niall? Uh, we just got good. Uh, we parried him, actually. Parrying Niall. I don't... I just kind of... Wanted to show off, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we were parrying and burrito burritoing him with an ant spur. It wasn't the safest strat. I just fought him like the normal way. It took a while. Yeah, it's he's pretty easy to parry, so you know, just bury him 15 times in a row. Easy. Let's go get fucking Alexander. Oh man, Alexander is gonna be hard actually. Shit. I'm gonna think. What does he get stunned by? Does he get stunned by Unsheath? No, we tried an Almanac Pot, and uh, we tried against Vike multiple times. They don't even try to drink when the pot's on, and it wears off after 30 seconds. And then they just chug like crazy. Yeah, probably the most disappointing consumable in the run for sure I got killed by the first spat meringue set that fucking up that corner No, I'm derping. Don't do it. Okay, well, you know what? At least we got the door unlocked. Ah! Ew! I think if we bonk this guy, we get him in like a perpetual state of stun, right? I think. I have died to Alexander before, actually. He's immune to fire damage, too, on a side note. We can't bonk. Fuck. We can one hand bonk. We could try that. Eh. We'll see. Actually, we could use the strength physic. Strength not. Yeah, I think bonk is definitely the play. Oh my 
god, menuing. Fucking hell. I hate having doubles of the same weapon. I don't know what he's weak to. Magic should be okay. He's a minifier, so... I don't think he can cold proc him either. I'll just try this. Not looking forward to farming the pike, especially because I forgot to grab the medallion from the fucking... self. <laughs> Whoopsies, it's slippery, man. It's slippery. I haven't woke up yet. <laughs> the coffee's not kicking in fast enough here. You would think that God's getting would have woke me up. Oh, I hope this stuns him. Otherwise, we can try ranged combat. Elden Ring do be like that, yep. Gravity claims us all. Probably put on the claw talisman here, and the raptor's feathers. Uh, don't need any of that. All right. City, that aside, I doubt that, of course. Which mean, would you kind come and tell me what I've been longing? You, then let us begin. That does not stun him. Sheesh. Does he get stunned by Unsheath? I feel like there's some ashes of ashes of war <laughs> that stunlock him. Um, maybe we just tried Lion's Claw. Or, or fucking Giant Hunt. We tried Giant Hunt Great Lance. Maybe. Magic damage seemed okay. Um, yeah, let's give that a go. Cause he don't roll. Uh, let's think. Ash of War Scarab. Eugene's Talisman. And Stam Regen would be nice. For this strat. I'm pretty sure there's a way to stunlock this guy. Imagine if you lost to him, then if you couldn't get the thing anymore. Square off maybe would work too, yeah. Oh, that looks like the play. Lend me strength, warriors. Let us become one champion. Yes, I can't believe your heart is Man, the stamina cost is insane, though. <laughs> I wonder if we can use a shield to block that. We'll try. We got barricade. Let's see. Maybe I want to go no skill. <laughs> Two deaths to Alexander so far. So hit a couple of giant hunts and then we'll back out and barricade, regen stamina. Go back in for more giant hunts, maybe. I am the 
Vaughn's indomitable. Aw, oh, he broke my fucking shield. Luckily, he's slow. Can you push him off the map? Only what happens if he falls off the map. Turtle shield wouldn't be about the worst idea. This is looking pretty good. Until he does that move. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna have to try range combat, man. And maybe he gets stunned by boulders. Min maxing for Alexander. I mean, we could always use uh, Glint Blade as well. It's been really good for us. I'll bust up the boulders. All right, let's try wizardry strats. Yeah, that floating move he does is really, really quick. I'm not even sure if it's reactable. At least not with how slow Giant Hunt is. Okay, what are we missing here? All right, let's try this. That does not stun him. Nightmane's miss looking pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. The mist. Man, he's super weak to magic. I suspected <laughs> victory was impossible. Well, now what's going to happen? Never had this happen before. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to run all the way up there <laughs> without getting it. Uh, 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 uh. Shit. I don't have fucking... Uh, I don't have fucking that spell to make me roll better. No! Immediately gets hit! I don't have Bloodhound stat. Oh, this is so sketch, man. I dare not sit at the bonfire. Who knows if we can actually lose out on Alexander's quest. This is fucking sketch, man. Fuck, dude. Just be good at the game.
Just don't get hit. It's really easy. Talk about sketchy. Ugh. Gonna get past some skeletons now. And that are in all sorts of derpy spots. And awake. Adventure. <laughs> God damn, Alexander. God fucking damn. My thanks, son. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. <laughs> Who knows what would have happened there if I had reset the fight, you know? <laughs> Stigio, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> that was fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, I've missed out on Alexander Sharp before because I killed him before the dialogue started. So, I mean, I know there are ways that you definitely miss out on the shard. GG. I always believe, Holy even fuck. when the stupid stuff happened. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Alright, so now we got Plaid Socks, Malekith, Bernal. And I, I don't know, they all, oh, we have Bird Bridge too. Oh. The bird bridge was one of the hardest parts of the game getting to New Game 7. Oh yeah, now we can get the pot talisman. True. true. Yeah, this place really sucked. Does the parry tool do damage? I'm not gonna use it. I never use that shit. I'm not worried about Malekith, honestly. I'm worried about fucking uh, plaid socks. I'm just gonna try to bloodhound step my way through here and hopefully we get lucky. And don't get hit by birds. Cause I didn't have bloodhound step last time I tried. God, we might first try this. That would be insane. Holy fuck, man. You're right, we gotta get the... What was the hardest boss until now? Um... Spirit Calling Duo is one of the hardest. 
Impaler Catacombs, Imp with the Watchdogs was super fucking hard. Er Erdbear was really hard. Margit was pretty hard. Like the beginning of the game one. Awesome, man. Yeah, the Godskin snail fight was pretty legendary. That's maybe the proudest moment of the run. Nice. Fucking shout out to Bloodhound Step. Carrying hard as fuck. Well, what do you guys think we should do first? I'm open to suggestions. Fuck it. I'll pour myself another cup of coffee here. Super Opa, I'm the de hidden strats. I, I don't know what you're saying. We've used a bunch of different strats. Oh, we're gonna kill Bernal. How are we going to do that? He's he's got like a billion passive poise, and he's got hyper armor. We could try the shield crash tech. Try. Any new strategies in the game? Uh, I mean, after two years of the game release, I don't know how that would be possible. I'm sure, someone's done it. Let's think, let's think. I mean, let's try shield crashing him, because that's been kind to us in the past. Maybe we're overcomplicating it. I mean, we parried Godskin for like 20 minutes. Ah, uh, maybe we want some red. No, he just appears once you try to climb the ladder. We're gonna try to kill Bernal. There's been a lot of Black Flame Blade strats, which are, you know, pretty unique to this run, I think. Frost Rocks to Black Flame Blade. The weapon buff resets has been pretty, pretty stellar. That takes a lot of stamina. Whoa, what happened there? All right, we got him in a corner. It's working. It's working. No, he drinks. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. 
What's up? <laughs> What's up, King? Yo, he built up like a billion bleed resist. That's ridiculous. Oh no! <laughs> That's the problem with the fucking shield bash strat right there. Sometimes he just rolls it. Hmm. We'll try it again. Yeah, I have to kill the Sentinel. I'm not too worried about the Sentinel. I'm mostly worried about plaid socks. We'll try that once more. It would actually be really nice to be able to reset with the frost, a volcano pot. The frost. Man, maybe this is where we want to use our rot pots. Ah, we don't have volcano stones. Oh shit. Please don't follow me. I can't climb ladders, right? Oh my god, they can climb ladders. Shit. <laughs> you know, black flame stuff is a good idea against plaid socks and the poly crossbow. Yeah, this strategy's coming pretty good for quite a few fights. Hey, let's go. Peace his curved sword, that's hype. Worth aggroing that guy. Oh no, I don't I don't know what he just cast. Hopefully it was some regen. Whoa. Oh, how is he getting these hits in around the shield? What's happening? Oh! What? Yeah, this is the last. This is the last part of the volcano matter. All right, that's not gonna work. That's he's somehow doing like a billion damage through my shield. Uh, let's try glint blade. We've used a lot of glint blade on the run. Uh, maybe do I have it attuned? Okay, thank God. Not again. Oh my god, how is that fucking keep happening? Stupid. Fuck. How do I keep hitting that guy? I never fucking Goomba stomped this dude. Oh my god, no! Vernal's here too! Fuck! <laughs> so cursed! God damn it! Why? 
I just gotta not step on his head. It's not complicated. I'm just menuing randomly and I keep stepping on this thing's fucking head. I don't know how. <laughs> it's fucking. I never. I never even knew there was a mob there. Okay, we have to identify how not to step on this guy's head. First things first. Uh, as much damage as we can get. <laughs> Just don't fucking step on his head. It's not hard. I think he's right there. I just keep cutting that too short. Yep. I mean, we're not going to survive a hit. Why am I rejumping? Ah, Glenn played strats. Let's see if they work. pretty good. a little bit more. Oh my god, there's so little damage. Maybe we'll try to run him around Night Maiden's Mist instead. Oh my god. That fucking attack speed is way too fast. What's up, Fredo? Huh. Winkle with the two years, man. Thank you, Winkle. Ice storm is just gonna R1 me right through an ice storm. Let's try and put in some Night Maiden's Mist in the mix here. What's up, do? Yeah, Lightning Spear Spam is not a bad idea either. That worked on Vike. Why do I keep doing this? So weird, man. I don't understand. I never do that. I never ever fucking hit this thing on his head. On a normal playthrough of the game. I guess I never go down there, though. We'll try Night Maiden's Mist and see uh, if that, that's going to be better damage than Lightning Spear. I'm just not sure if it's viable. We got to want cast speed. Alright, let's try that out. I wonder if we can't climb on one of these jars. But 
The missus may be too thick. Like, I don't know if I can get around it. Uh, it's definitely not looking great. We'll try a lightning. You know what? Maybe we can giant hunt him off the map. We don't need to collect his shinies, right? Maybe we're overcomplicating this. Huh? Maybe we can knock him off the map. Ah, let's try that out. We could just try fighting him too with a halberd or a anspur as well. Problem with lightning is that it takes so long and it's a very small part of the map to work around. Maybe. Are any arrows against Blight Sox? It's not a bad idea, actually. So, right now we're light rolling. I wanted to put the turtle shield on, but we'll lose light roll. Let's try this out. Oh, we don't have giant hunt on this. Shit. That's why a giant hunt is not a consistent strat. Maybe if I go earlier. Oh, come on! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> that were good as hell. Do we have a beast lure pot? Nope. I right, will die opening this treasure. <laughs> plant sucks. Plant sucks. Plant sucks. Would pest threads work well against plaid song? Should we test? We could spinning weapon him with a scythe or some bleed brocks. We could bring pest threads on that same setup. Plaid socks bleeds just not very well. None of the status effects work well on him. But he is he does get status rocked. You think pest threads will be real good against him? We're gonna go test it. Th 
think that looks good. You think rain arrows would be the best thing against flat socks? We'll try this first. Black flame blade actually might be a really good I know, strat for him. You want multi hit boost too? Well, we can't do that at all, level one. Like, I'm gonna run out of stamina and FP real fast. Well, I mean, we could go for the multi-hit instead of EG's. Sexy time, thank you. And then we can use the ant spur if we need to. Let's see what happens. We'll test by threats damage first things first. Oh, we did 115. Forty-five. I don't I don't think that's the play. As much as I wanted it to work. Black Flame Tornado is, is not a bad idea either. I ran out of stamps so quick. There's a bleed. There's one. Let's see if we can't rot him, I think. It's gonna be very hard to rot blood socks though. Very hard. Hell yeah, Larry. We fucked him up. Oops. Yeah, I think Black Flame Tornado is the way. Too bad I don't have it on anything available right now. <laughs> I don't think we can use the peeler right now. Uh, yeah, we can. We got Okina's mask. There we go. doing some damage. Did 
Dude is still not poisoned from that direct poison mist. My god. Black Flame Tornado is definitely the play, but it's easy to get one bleed in. Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to poison mist there. That fucked my positioning up. Mm. I mean, that's probably it. It would be nice to Rot Breath him, though. I think I can. If we bring Rot Breath... I think we'll be good. We'll just go for one rot. But when he does the fire over his tail, I think I can punish for it. It is pretty easy to get a bleed, but I mean, I think Black Flame Tornado is probably doing just as much damage. All right, take two. My dude is so hard to rot and poison, though. I'm not even sure. I think maybe we got one poison proc against him. I also don't know if poison's worth applying when we could be doing black flame tornadoes. I think we're really gonna try to force a rot proc. What's up, Jan? No, I don't. Can he be frosted? He can be. He can be all of the things. I don't know what his weakest resistance is, because you're right, we could reset frost procs with black flame tornado. Hmm. I don't have chilling mist on anything, though. That looks pretty safe to get that cast off. Oh, I'll go for a rock breath here. How many breaths is it gonna take? That's the real question. Uh-oh. Well, Poison Mist getting me killed. I don't think, I think we're gonna drop Poison Mist off of the things to try to do. It's fucking slow and hard to do, and it's gonna do zero damage anyways. It's a second death, both, because I tried to proc poison mist. Both. Can you put Black Flame Tornado on the scythe? You know what? That takes less stats to use, and, and maybe we'll get a bleed on it. It's a good idea, dude. You can't do bleed and fuse, though. But it frees up a ring slot. I forgot we just got that from the godskin. Uh, 
how is fire damage do against this guy? Is that a good idea? We're boosting our faith. So maybe. Maybe Twilight. I think he just has stupid high resistances, though. Like, you can actually poison and rot Melania, but she has, like, the highest immunity of any boss that's not immune. I think we got it, as long as I just don't fly poison. Well, actually, we could do clumps after we rot when he fire breaths. This is definitely sometimes I can throw clumps. Here. Think I can rot him? Oh no, it's kind of sketchy. That's rock breath number two. Hopefully this one rots him. Oh my god, he's still not rotted. <laughs> okay, we got the rot. I think we got the poison. So now we'll go over some black flame tornadoes. So we can throw at him? Not really. I'm gonna try to be patient. Scary. The rats are already worn off, man. What's up, Carnage?
Hard to say if the raw was worth. Probably wasn't. Lasers incoming. I'm bad at dodging this move. Okay, we're alive. <laughs> Come here. Well, shit, that wasn't that bad at all. Nice and little no-hit fucking plaid socks. <laughs> Easy. Let's fucking go. We are cruising through a fair of Missoula right now. Just fucking cruising. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, now I got a tree, dude. Which I'll probably use Anspur and... Black Flame Blade. Freezing Miss Ansper. Well, I'm good at the base game bosses, right? It's like the side bosses that I never practice. So that's that's the thing. Melania is always hard on a side note. Um yeah, let's do Black Flame Blade, Freezing Mist, Ansper. We got the Duelist Axe. That was actually pretty chill. I think this is the play. And then once we get a couple Frosts and we get Rotted, we'll actually go to the Scythe. And blood flame that thing. I'm actually really surprised how much the scythe has seen on this run. Like, we've used the scythe so much. Alright. So we'll rot him, do some poison stuff, then we'll blood flame, scythe, bada bing, bada bang. Well, yeah, um, no, Strax, we won't be locked into the Ashen Capital, no. Just pretend that didn't happen. It's a good question. I even think about it. What's up, Dark Bane? Got that rot pretty quick. I'm gonna go for one more frost rock. Where is frost rock? 
Raz. Perfect. Come on, do the easy move. That's not the easy move. Neither is that. Fuck, man, I didn't even see that lightning. I didn't even see it. Have you considered playing DDR? The dancing game that you need to like buy shit? No, fucking ever. I didn't use the rest of them. Give me one second. Yeah, Blood Flame Blade does draw a uh, reset frost rock, and Kirby dropped me the Ashes of War, Larry. That took the upgraded weapons to do it. All right, we just need to squeeze a poison in, and then we're good. What's up, Lazel? So two frosts, a poison. I think we only got, I think we got two bleeds last time. Malakas just around the corner. Where are we gonna go next? I guess we're going underground and gonna try to fight a moose boss, right? And twin gargoyles. Now that we got Alexander's shard. And then we'll probably go to the snowfield. Or we go to the snowfield so we can get the silver tear mask. 
Or uh, not mask, the scarab. Start there. Ross should be close. There's the frost. Then I'm with another block flame. Just need to do a little bit more damage. Now I'll try to get a poison. Oh god. Fuck that move, man. Fuck that move so hard. Ah, I'm dead. Like, what am I even supposed to do with that lightning spread, man? That lightning was just like everywhere, man. Everywhere. I don't think I could have taken a step in any direction there. For that. Oops. And babe foot uh, punctuation or something is my guess. Also, the YouTube blank up. Insane. Man, I'm fucking up. Don't derp out. Thank you, Mr. Vault. Did we get him poisoned? I think so. What are you doing? All right, let's just finish with some black flame blade. Is it actually linked to their YouTube also? <laughs> um, okay, so... The Malekith Strat... Hmm. Same thing? 
I might save my physic for phase two. I don't know. What's up, your neck? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a little longer than normal, so it could actually be pretty hard, Malakoth. I think I'm gonna throw a shitload of stuff at him in phase one. Yeah, we're moving far. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, phase one's gonna take a really long time. almost want a longer weapon because for how patient I'm gonna have to play the end, I don't think we're going to get a rot Brock well we could actually throw rot pots at Malekith We can actually rot grease the answer and try to play a little aggressively. Yeah, we cleared the capital. Um, I don't know who else I'd like to use rot grease on. Maybe Melania. Try to get the stagger actually. You know, that's a pretty good idea, Terrapism. We could put Rajir's Ash on the ants first, say fuck the freezing mist, and just poke him a bunch. Yeah, we farmed all of the duelist armor. We farmed every single drop in the capital. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, well, let's try that. Then, we'll do, then we can just play safe and then jump on when we need to be aggressive. We won't actually take the crit with this strat. But I mean, rot him once and he's basically done with phase one. I died to the same move two times. What the fuck, man? No, I don't like parrying him. Yeah, we're, we're doing rare farm items, but not in the... It's not part of the region lock. See, the answer didn't hit there. So I don't really know if this is a good weapon to fight him with. God, I'm fucking terrible at this one. Oh, 
Okay. I gotta stay further from him. Did not mean to hit that. That's not safe. Fuck. Mm. I don't know if that's the play. We'll try getting the R1s again when to his side or something. I could throw a throwing knives to keep his poise down. But I think cuckoos are too slow. Oh, try fan knives. Let's give that a shot. Way too slow, phalanx, man. I don't think we're getting the phalanx strat to work. One last try with this. I gotta be so patient through the phalanx, which doesn't allow me to really do much poise damage then. I'll just have to be more patient with it. It really comes down to how many pokes is it going to take to rot him. And if Phalanx doesn't work for Bonk, Bonk's not going to work. Be more patient. Should have phalanx there. Ah, I'm being too greedy for the poison break strap. That's not gonna work. Oh, the problem with any sort of bonking is that's like equivalent to five bonks that's about right there that's like five bonks worth i know it doesn't look like it should be but it is like stupid amount of bonk yeah he's too aggressive for that ash the reason why that would have been good for poise breaking is because then i could have actually rotted him okay Let's go back to this. Oh, well, I find phase two a lot easier, and it could definitely work in phase two. But it's not going to work in phase one because of how fast he is. The problem with bonking is like, oh, we could maybe get a bonk and maybe get a poise break, but then what am I going to do? No damage <laughs> on the crit? Because then I. The ants where I at least could poison him. What about just throwing black flame on him? It's not a bad idea. We could try. Fucking off today, man. 
No, I've never parried. I'm not going to start now, but you're just going to have to accept no means no. <sighs> yeah, let's try some projectiles. Problem is, I really want to do... Do you plan on it? Do I plan things? No, never in general, ever. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll try it. Poison Mist is probably a lot easier to get the proc onto. No, I, I don't like, uh, like gimmick boss mechanics. No, we just killed Bernal today, Quavity. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Black Flame's gonna work well. We'd have to adjust our cast speed for sure. I think. I just need to roll this stupid move that's the, you know, slowest, easy to move, that one. I'm just fucking that up. Need to find the rhythm here a little bit. I could probably throw a black flame there. Definitely throw one here. It's really shit damage. That ain't it. Too slow, man. Everything's too slow. All right, you just get banned, Sundance, and go bother someone else. Go complain about what someone else is streaming. <laughs> get fucked. We could actually ice spear him, I think. Ice Spear is for some reason faster than Chilling Mist. So we go Poison Rapier. And then Short Spear, Ice Spear, Reset Prox with Black Flame Fireballs. In Phase 2, I really do want to use the Scythe, though. Black foot blood flame. Yeah, we'll give that a shot. Maybe ice spear will work. 
ranking. That's pretty easy to get the poison. Ice spear may just be fast enough here. What's up, Sakaya? not. I mean, I could be really selective about my punishes. I'm really trying to force stuff right now. God, this is too far away. Nah, it's too slow, man. Ice Spear way too fucking slow. I'm good. Malika's giving me more trouble than I thought he would. I could just go for a longer range weapon with blood flame and just middle them down over time. So maybe the best option here. I mean, it's really easy to poison him initially. He doesn't really dodge anything. No, a bully crossbow could actually be the play we're looking for. Fuck. Still didn't frost him there. Yeah, this could be a pulley crossbow fight for phase one. That's what I'm thinking. I want to rot him. Too many conflicting strats without getting any rot and fungal. Thank you for the Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you, man. Yeah, Serpent Bow. Good work. Let me just try playing aggressively with the hand spur and see if I can't get a rot. Let's change strats. Fuck, we're not gonna rot this guy in New Game 7. I do wanna rot him in phase two though. I get a lot more opportunities for uptime for damage in phase two.
I like the serpent bow idea, though. Alright. We'll try basically the same thing we did against uh, Godskin. Okay. What do I need? Strength. That looks good. We don't need all this faith now. Um, can we somehow manage to light roll? We can. All right, new build. Let's fucking go. Is it weaker to fire or lightning? Anyone know? Man, I got 60 black key bolts. Fuck it, let's rot him with this. Equal, thank you. Wow, dude, that was so easy to rot. What the fuck? I got one bleed and then I'll go poison. I'm really surprised how much bow strats have come into this one. Oops. We got him poisoned? Yeah. when I got prepared for phase two. I don't want a light roll in phase two. Okay. All right, here we go. Nice early poison. Probably pretty close to a rot. Where's the rot? Fucking risky blood flame. Too slow. Way too fucking slow. Fuck, man. Yeah. Now that seems to be the play, though. Should be in the bag now. I'll just have to take my time for that blood flame. We can just fight him with the scythe until we get an opportunity to do blood flame. Good evening, flame god.
actually go for the poison before the bleed. Poisoned. Now go for some bleed. There's the bleed proc. No, I don't think we did anything more last time, so we go scythe now. Holy fuck, where is this thing? Okay. I don't have the answer. Oops. <laughs> no, I fucked up something. I might be able to do this just from bleed, though. Oh, I got some poison clumps. Definitely trying to get another bleed before this blood flame wears off. Yeah, maybe two. Not quite. All right, I'll go for poison now. I don't know why I threw that. <laughs> Should have thrown a kukri. <laughs> there we go. Scary. Very scary. <laughs> Let's go. This one is so much harder for me, man. So much harder. Nice. Crossbow. Hey, actually using the fucking rot bolts effectively.
Param Azula is done. It is. Now we're not gonna count going here as part of the region. We're just gonna get this bonfire and then come back at a later, a later time. Yeah, hugging phase one. The the problem is the answer is just not very good for that. It's just so short. I just didn't know what strategy I wanted to do. We're going underground, guys. We're going underground. The moose is on the loose for not much time left. On oh, the twin gargoyles. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, Twilight. I don't think. All right, let's see what we can do down here. Part of me thinks the moose is like the hardest boss that we'll have fought. And gargoyles are, they're gonna be shit. <laughs> they're gonna be such shit. <laughs> oh. I mean, how hard are these gargoyles? Black Flame should be good against the moose. How hard are these gargoyles compared to the other gargoyles? Because, I mean... Glenblade Phalanx kind of fucked them up. Yeah, the moose can be rotted and poisoned, but we have to, like... <sighs> we have to rot them and poison at, like... The identical time, exactly after or before or during his heal. And like, he's got so much resistance, it's like really hard to calculate how this will, how this will go. I mean, you know, I don't just poison him. It's kind of hard, especially rotting him is kind of hard. Ah, I'll get the ghost torch sometime the time I forgot about it. Pretty sure there will be lots of breaks for farming while we fight Melania. Because that boss isn't going to give a fuck about our build. So what should we fight the Mimic with, huh? Let's just try the Scythe. I want the Mimic to be able to use all of our spells. And, and us, too. Yeah, dual gargoyles poisoning, we will be fucked up. Yeah, it'll be close to instant death. If It probably will be instant death to poison. I don't have the Soldier of Godric, like, Gear and it would take way too long to. That new game seven mimic health with the fucking great so we're talking like a thirty minute fight, man. Well, who needs to make the Mimic naked, huh? <laughs> Did you know you could take off all your gear before you fight the Mimic? Nah, who needs to do any of that? <laughs> Man, I was hoping that was going to take longer and be more funny. <laughs> or more interesting. That was supposed to hold us over a couple hours before gargoyles, guys. <laughs> uh oh. They are on the horizon, man. <laughs> yeah, we could Twilight.
Alright, let's light these fuckers up. I mean, maybe Bloodflame Scythe will fuck up the moose super well. And that it won't be that big of a deal. I'm thinking it's gonna be a stumper though, and we're gonna have to figure out some crazy shit. Can you sleep the moose, boss? The moose sleeps standing. Thank God we don't have to fight any more fucking wolves. <sighs> that boss was pretty hard too. That one in the hero's grave. I don't know what this is. Just an upgrade stone, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, is that enchanted shot? Oh, rip. Don't forget about the baby head. Yeah. This lady drops the moose antlers, too. So, what the fuck did I miss? One more. Maybe in the center? Aha! I mean, why not take a couple shots at the moose and see how bad it's gonna be? Maybe we'll be all right. I have no idea. I don't know how we should do damage first, because we want to get it, like, kind of low before we start pushing status effects, right? <sighs> I'm not sure. It's weak to holy. I mean, we could just throw black flame balls, then. Rock sling him? No, oh, I'm not prepared for any of that. He does heal indefinitely. But we could rot breath the moose, probably. I right, got faith in there. Well, let's try throwing black flame balls at him in the beginning. What's up, Masses? Oh, we were gonna try dude against him, true. Well, he wily. Well, let's knock him down with Black Flame for the beginning. Let him heal a couple times. The first two heals are much bigger than the last heal.
Black Flame's doing pretty good damage here. We gotta figure out when we want to rod him. Is it gonna heal 50%? That was a big ass heal. So what do you think after the next one we try riding him? Be. Oh, I don't have the see I don't have the stats for my seal. That's what's happening. Shit. But we'll try the dude. Why not? We'll try it. Fuck it. Go optimize duding. What's the dude? This is a dude. Let's try to do it. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> How is it so bad? Black Flame, the ball, uh, fire damage or holy damage? 
because we can try super optimizing for Black Flame. It was worth a try. It's a fire? It's fire. Fuck it, we'll rune arc too, maybe? Could try fully charge black flames. And fire a scorpion. And a rune arc. Hopefully that gets him to heal a bunch. Death poker? I have no idea. Um, I wonder if we could Crimson Whirl his heal damage and Spinning Strikes him. Uh, Black Flame Tornado was really good on uh, the boss we just fought. Plaid sucks. Alright, let's get sweaty. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to stop this guy from healing. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty big damage. That fully charged headshot? Whoa! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. He dodges too much. Yo, that headshot damage is fucking serious. Maybe we can just DPS down with this. Nice. Hmm. 
Maybe after the first heal we brought him, he heals infinitely. We can't Night Maiden's Mist. Well, I mean, it's not going to be better than double just throwing back flames, I don't think. There is one problem. He does this roll attack, which I forgot about. We haven't even seen yet. I would really like to rot him. After he heals. We got 39 rot bolts left. Can we make any more poison arrows? No. Maybe we don't want to use poison arrows. I think after the first, our physics gonna wear off in three minutes and it's gonna dramatically reduce the damage of our black flames. I think after the first seal we'll go for a rot and then just pepper him with black flames. How did that one miss, man? It's autonomous. Scarring Black Flame, I don't know, it's pretty slow to cast. Maybe it will hit him multiple times. Maybe. Gods are man, I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe we go for cast speed staff. I, I don't think FP will be a problem. I need a little more cast speed. Like just a fucking hair. But I don't think we want to go less damage. We'll try going with a higher FP cost. Let's see. I'm just so immobile. And it definitely let me get a bonus in there. Well, we need to be, it's not like, we can't really not be greedy. Because it's going to be a DPS race. At one point. I mean, the whole fight's basically a DPS race. I need to be able to punish all these attacks. Mm, that Gatsby definitely saved my life there. 100%. Holy 
shut. Still no rot. There's rot. All right. More fireballs. See, okay, that's not the bad attack. Pretty fucking hard to dodge that shit, man. I gotta stop getting hit. Ah, right, let's keep trying this strat and see what happens. You think I should wait to rot him? Till after the second heal? Probably. Got him kind of low there. Insane poison spray mist. <laughs> oh God. What? God, he just dodges so efficiently. What are you doing? Jesus, he heals so much.
Way one more heal and then we'll go rot. Is the pot rot better or the bolts better? Or are they the same as far as the actual proc goes? Does one do more damage than the other? That thing is a fucking weird hitbox, man. A s every every death now has been that same fucking move that I just cannot fucking get the hang of. Well, no, we have just enough rot bolts to proc rot with the pot, I think. The question is, which one do I want to get the final hit with? That move is fucking bullshit. I don't know how to dodge it. I'm gonna try dodging through it. I haven't figured out the timing though. Would Frostbite be useful? Well, it's gonna just get canceled. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough damage to use the sword and a shield though. Fuck you! Well, our rune arcs are... Just throw them away. Just throw them away! Put every rune arc in the trash can! It's not very easy to cast on this guy. Moose is weak to the stuff we're using. Yeah, that's why we're using it. <laughs> Fucking last rune arc already. They're easy to get. They're not at level one, man. And they're time consuming. Don't get hacked. <laughs> Welcome in, Captain. How do I get a charge attack here? Maybe if I'm closer. That would look good. Trying to finish closer. Jump. Fuck. This is hard. Gotta see how he Malekith. Ah, we just shot him with bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, for face one.
this moose is fucking pissing me off, man. Fucking getting tilted fighting this guy. Ah, for face we just fought Malekith. Yeah, I was wondering if they had like a more damaging rot, is what I was wondering. <sighs> Let's try rot breathing him when he heals. No, we didn't blast him, misplayed him. We'll try to force some various rots. Man, I just keep getting fucked from this cast speed. Some of the windows that I think are windows aren't windows sometimes. I don't really get it. Did you uh, did you mean that I try to blast him as blade the moose? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. We'll try this. I'll try. F I'll try seeing how hard it is to rot breath him. Just for shits and giggles. We lose so much damage without our rune arc, though. Because of the rings that we need. But I shouldn't have really used the rune arc any of those times because I can't fucking figure out how to roll his attacks while throwing blast flames. Let's try this. I want to test some shit, really. Forest a rod brock, that's for fucking sure. Let's see if we can get him to dance in a poison mist in the beginning. Poison. Jesus Christ, his resistance is fucking insane. Oh, lucky. No poisons, though? He punishes fucking rain shit so hard, guys. I don't... I don't know. Let's go for more cast speed. Is 
Yeah, he was poison at the end. We'll start the fight with a poison arrows. See how fast these poison them. Then we'll use our physic. What's up, gentleman caller? Physic now. Wrong button. Has to be definitely feeling better, but is it worth the damage we're losing? Oh my god, okay, just barely hit. Alright, I'm gonna go for Dragon Breath here on the heal. Maybe I can Dragon Breath this. Holy fucking Dragon Breaths, man. Still no rot. Oh my god! Please run! Man, it's like impossible to rot breath him! <laughs> That's a lot of rot breath. to try something different. And let's see how hard he is to bleed. Just for science. Ooh. 
very hard to bleed. Well, doesn't look great so far. <laughs> Okay, I mean, we bled him. I died, but we bled him. Yeah, maybe we can get underneath them in Black Flame Tornado and roll out there. Well, let's push the black flame ball strat at least and see where it gets us because with max cast speed I'm a little bit more comfortable with it no reason to not get a poison in the beginning Oh, that hit. At least the getting the poison will push the phase and save us some time with our physic. I wish there was a good way to punish the heal. I also need a way to punish that. No, spirit summons aren't allowed in our run. Not until the next run, which is going to be spirit summon themed. I mean, that's about as good of a punish as we could do. Should we go for another poison? I think it most will be super hard. Rain of Arrows as a punish? We could try it. Physics almost stop. Okay. That wasn't so much shield.
Let's try uh, Rain Arrow's Punish and see if that works. <sighs> so what kind of arrows are we thinking? Bleed? We'll try. I'm curious just seeing it right now. Bosses being hard at level one plus zero new game seven? No way. I don't believe it. Never dodge backwards? Well, I can't do any damage to his legs. I need space if I'm throwing black flame, Tommy. I mean, it's a range strategy. I can dodging backwards there lets me get that arrow in. We could black knife him on this setup too, yeah. Let's see how much a black knife does actually. You got me thinking. We could try a discus of light too. Not a bad idea. You can actually headshot this moose. That's why I'm doing the strat that we're doing. I'm dodging backwards that allows me to get headshots. No bleed. This kind of light could could work well, actually. Well, we're gonna push this bleed proc, because like certainly it's gotta almost be there. Right, <laughs> dude, hyper. Thank you so much for the ten bucks, man. <laughs> Thank you. See, now we're chasing this bleed, though, and we're gonna run out of our physic. Boy, how have we not bled him? This is absurd. Oh, we're not gonna try bleeding him. <laughs> With the pulley crossbow? I mean, a black knife spam is gonna way out damage the amount of time it takes to bleed him. Dramatically. I mean, we hit him with like... 25 arrows there? 20 arrows? A lot. A fucking lot of arrows. <laughs> What's up, Donnie? I mean, I'm actually okay with this boss being hard because it's cool and he's never hard, right? So 
Let's think about the bright side. You get the full moose experience. <sighs> Alright, we're just gonna push the black flame as far as it goes because I keep, you know, dying from one thing or the other and, and we don't... We're not... We haven't really pushed it as far as we can go yet, you know? The full moose. We'll try... Oops, one arrow. We will try disc though if if I die again here. I think it's worth a shot. Nah, we got double crucible. I mean double gargoyles we can go mess around with too. So many arrows. Am I missing the stats or something? <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like the black knife is a nice little bit of optimization there. No good way to punish the heal though that I can see besides just throwing black fireballs. No, I don't think uh, there's any way to stop him from healing. Keep getting hit by the ship. I might as well just stop throwing that, man. I mean, Lord Talisman is in this game. It's just taking all of our talismans to do what we're doing right now. That's the issue. So I'm wondering if we shouldn't try rotting him now with a rot breath punish on the heel. Thoughts? Do we even have the pulling cross one anymore? Alright, well that was the second heal. Ready? Tried that. Well, I was gonna use the bolts too. Like do one rot breath and then bolts in the pot that we have. So now our black flame's tickling him because the three minutes is up right now. I don't know if he, the poison's gonna work. Because it took so long to poison him once. 
I think this is the best DPS. Okay, so now, now we have the problem. And that's the hard to dodge attack. So there is an issue. And I don't know how to dodge that shit either. We're gonna have to Bloodhound step for it. We'll try Disc Spam. Try it. Try holy damage. So is Int and Faith gonna give us more? Or holy damage give us more on the discs? I might have to crunch some numbers here. So we would want cast speed. Oh, we got canvas flock. Sacred scorpion. Ritual sword. Yeah, I think so, Falmir. I think so. Yeah, it depends if they do decent damage or not. It doesn't solve the problem, though, of the healing part. Well, let me use my physic and take a look at spell buff. Uh, 137 spell buff. Okay. So, is that going to be better than... Hundred and thirty one with the twenty five percent more holy damage. I mean, that's going to be better. Let's take it for a spin. Oh, let's equip the discs. So we, with our talismans, so we can't buff the discs. Well, we can do like shared order, I guess. On a regular dagger. I can't remember which one of these is better. Probably that one. Can't use disc without the physic. What have I done wrong? Fuck. Fuck. Which one of these is better, flock or sacred scorpion?
Because I feel like max cast speed is definitely a, a lot of damage on the discs. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be good. Oh, I might as well go RTSR. <laughs> Quagon, I hope you're good also, man, and thank you for the 10 months. All right, let's see some big damage numbers here. Is this the disc's time to shine? They're still so slow. <laughs> Even with fucking max cast speed, man. They're fucking really slow. Shit, and not even doing yellow damage. Give it another shot. Maybe the heal punish would be really good with these. So fucking slow, though. I don't know. Now, Vigas is good, but the, even with max gas speed, just I'm very immobile. Headshot did a lot better damage. It's hard to throw these fuckers out, though. They take a lot of stamina, too. There's any way they're gonna out damage him. It's healing. Maybe I can put a bunch in the air right here. And I'll walk into it. Oh, the headshots. I ain't no way we're out damaging the ceiling though. Walk into all the disc with your head. Run this down. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Well, we tried. That ain't it, man.
Hmm. Well, you can't use the disc as backup for the fireballs because we need to completely change our build. So, I think we have to save our physic for the very end of the moose fight. And we have to go like complete min max damage for the black flame. That's what I think. And we really do need to get a rod on him. Somehow. Like, Rod Breath could be the deal sealer. No, he uh, damages me while he heals. It's like an AoE. I was thinking Crimson Whirl might work. But I don't know if we do enough damage. Nine minute minutes isn't gonna do as much as as Black Flame. Well, Rot Breath does a lot more damage than a Rot Pot. That's that's the problem. We could try Pot Strat. What's up, Miss B? That could work. Because we just got Alexander's innards. Oh, we could try Pots when he's low. Let's give this a shot, though. So, we get him to heal three times, and then we just patiently wait for a Rot Breath. Because it's not like he's going to heal more, okay? So, we just try to force a Rot Breath. And then, hopefully, we can bl use our Physic and DPS him down with a Rot Breath mixed with Black Flame. Otherwise, Pots is also on the table as, as a strat. Okay. I think we're gonna say fuck Caspeed, honestly, because it's gonna not be FP efficient. If we're gonna be trying to force the rot, we're just gonna have to pick our, our spots carefully. So, maximum damage. Get a backup dragon seal. 27 faith. I think that's as good as it's getting. Yeah, I don't know what pots will do the most damage. We can buff with Sacred Order. So I don't I don't know. Okay, we should have the God Slayer seal offhand. Hmm. Derping. Okay, 114, 119.
Alright. Down in H Town, thank you so much for the nine months, man. We out here puzzling this boss. That is tight. I have to be a lot more patient with my black. Ah, oh, the puddles, man. The fucking puddle deaths, dude. They hurt, man. They fucking hurt. Them puddles. Casting. Casting is not great for this boss. It's definitely not an optimal situation to be in. And I don't think a volcano pot's gonna do anywhere near the damage of a black flame. The only way I think pots could work is if, like, we completely change the build for pots. We're gonna throw one of these at him. Let's see how much damage it just does on this build. Currently. Just for science. Puddle, that sounds nasty. It sure does. Okay, that's a lot of damage, actually. Shit, maybe that's the play. God damn. <laughs> maybe it has to be a pot fight. Maybe we have to take him down with Black Flame, get a rot, and then spam pots on him. And just like completely hard swap our entire inventory. <laughs> that might be it. That really did a lot of damage. Red main pots will do even more damage than those? I wonder if a holy pot will do more. Cause those are easy to make and we can buff it a lot. Well, actually we can buff flame grant me strength, can't we? For fire pots. You think this moose is alive? Death, beware. Oh, fuck. I don't have the stats to Bloodhound stuff now. So next deal, we'll try rotting. Yeah, this boss is very pretty. What? All right, we can no longer punish the blue wisp. That's just not gonna work.
Let's throw a holy pot at him, though. I'll change fire scorpion to sacred scorpion. Let's see what one of these does. And then we'll swap our talismans again. The last one to like 700, right? Oil pine to ritual, but... You might as well just throw two rituals, right? 300 only! Isn't it better just to throw two fire pots, though? Or do they take different pots? Oil pots are regular pots. What's up, Sage Angel? Oops. So we'd have to compare the baby fire pot, right? Well, we could do all, we could do a whole optimized pot thing. We could. But I, I still want to try this. I just keep fucking up. I still think we haven't actually tried this strat yet because I can't make it to fucking th the third heal right now. I thought I outspaced that move. I certainly did not. Too slow to punish them. Cause this strat could work fine with all the pot shit. I don't punish this. Fully charge that! I wonder if it's worth using uh, the incantation scarab instead of the three face. Number one. Now the hard moves start. Oops. We haven't used the physic yet. Well, 
Once seal number two goes down, we're gonna try rot. And it's gonna be fucking hard as shit. Seal two. Man, he gets out of that shit fucking quick. Like, pots are good, but, like, I can't... I'm not getting far enough in the fight to even where I'd use the pots yet. This is, this is the issue. <sighs> well, let's go get the pot talisman. And Rod Breath does more damage than Rod Pots. That that's what we're that's the problem. But it's super, super hard to get Rod Breath. I have to be so early on the heal punish. Did anyone notice how much health he had when he healed? The second time? Like 40%? 30%? Cause I need to be like real ready to rot him. Like stupid early on it. Start paying attention to that. I didn't think. Ah. Gosh, it's not easy. I know. It's just a little. Mm. Your skin. You need. I'm sorry. What a shame. Don't. We can still come back and visit. Now do this annoying ass fucking quest. <laughs> oh, good grief. I asked and they said you go who knows all right let's grab some flowers I might have we might be able to throw uh what do you call them fetid pots at them Oh yeah, is what's this fuck in here? Oh yeah, not yet. I actually have no idea how to do this quest. I don't know if you need to pick flowers at all. <laughs> Pretty sure I just rested this bonfire five times and then, you know, the quest just kind of does itself. I hope. If you see it, he's big. Wow. Inside from Uncle. <sighs> Thank you. I'm a I can read. I understand. Strong enough. I'll As a warrior. I'd. <laughs> Goodbye. And thanks for. I'll never forget. I'll. Give me the fucking bullshit, man. 
If I could kill this little kid to get that fucking talisman, well, I fucking would in a heartbeat. Oh, okay. That looks good. Nice. These spots are easy to fucking make. Like, real easy. Should we just go all there, pot it up, and see what kind of damage they do? Are they faith scaling or strength scaling? Faith. Okay, okay. So we can make oil pots? Let's see what kind of damage? Yeah, I think we got all the pots. Oh, I only have 16 cracked pots, actually. Shit. That's not good. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe that's one up there. The moose is living up to expectations. Indeed. He's really giving her to me. Is that a cracked pot? Can I not get it there from this? This is fucking annoying. Uh, I don't think I can. Fuck you, game. <laughs> I hope that's a fucking crackpot. <laughs> Apparently we're short fucking four of them. It's not a crackpot? Man, I don't know which ones I'm missing. Shit. You sure it's not a crackpot? It's a smithing stone three. Fuck. Yeah, I have no idea which ones I'm missing. you're wrong. You're right. Well, I think we got all the ones in this village. I'm not seeing any shinies. Nah, I'm pretty sure I got them all from that annoying dungeon. Well, so what should we try here? Should we try? Like, I don't know how to optimize the strat here. Should we try black flaming until he heals once and then pot him down? I don't really know the best way. Yeah, I think I did the annoying dungeon one.
I mean, we can make some spark aromatics also. So we got 10 of these, so we want 10 oil pots, and then we'll do six fire pots. What's up, Underdoc? Where do we even get the recipe for the giant flame pots? Or red main, whatever they're called. Yeah, red main pots. We stuck on Moose Bro, Underdoc. Did you get the one from Pedia? And the Dragon Bro Merchants. Yeah, I think so. So, the issue now is we don't have the stats to cast the spell we need to cast. I guess we'll helmet swap. You know, pots look like they could be our salvation for the moose boss. Honestly. Oh. So we're going to try black flaming the moose until the first heal, then physics and pots and say fuck rat. I think this pot DPS strat. <laughs> I mean, they really do a ton of damage to this moose. So we would swap the f Marika's sword seal for the pot amulet and then the helmet. Actually, we will not do it for the first seal. We'll try to punish the second heal of thoughts. I don't know. Get them like that low, and then we'll do pot swaps. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't die. Got 
Couple more black flames. Two more. One more black flame. And then we'll get ready with the pots. Okay, physic armed. Oil pot, let's go. Did that miss? It fucking missed. <gasps> Alright, that one didn't miss. Oh my god, that's insane damage. They're all missing! All the pots are fucking whiffing! All right, we gotta become a free aim god. We're actually gonna need to black flame him down before he gets to his heal to punish the last heal. If we want a chance of doing this. Ah, and there's the bullshit move that I have absolutely no idea how to how to use. How to dodge. I, I roll through them. I don't know how to deal with that. Well, shit. It was close. Malkath was chill. You think it's sideways dodge? Well, I've tried that three times and died three times, so I'm beginning to question whether it's a sideways dodge or not. I need a bloodhound step it, man. I'll try one more time like this. Why do I only have five oil pots? I thought I made more than that. Huh? How does this rot pot keep going in my inventory? There's not even a fucking bonfire there! Nice fireballs. <laughs> they don't look like they're gonna fucking hit you, man. 
they don't look like they're gonna fucking hit you. They're like fucking little fairies all over the sky. You got fucking looks like I'm fucking so far away from the shit. It just kind of like lingers there. Lands on my face, kills me. Fucking stupid moose puddle fuckhead. It's gonna be a bloodhound stuff. Man, this moose. Fucking tough. Holy shit. Yeah, we can't black knife. We have to swap everything multiple times. That would be three swaps during the fight, or two swaps during the fight. Does it even work? I don't understand the intricacies of the black knife. People tell me mix things. Pretty sure it's a temporary debuff. Like when Malakath does it to you, it's just temporary. A Malkad was chill. A lot easier than the moose. That's for fucking sure. Lose that random pot. It's, it's it's too late. I forgot to at the bonfire. And I can't throw a rod pot away. That's like fucking. That's. Uh, It's, you can't do that. It's just there's just some rules. You can't just throw away a rod pot. But you're right, I should have done it. Honestly, we shouldn't need that many pots if I can actually fucking hit them. That's the trick. Fucking free aiming them somehow. Is the hard part. We had extra. What's up, Max? I can store them in the bonfire. Yeah, I just forgot to. Close to heal number one. I got Bloodhound stuff ready. What that moose doing? I think we gotta let him heal again, though. The second heal is too much deeps, maybe? Or too much health?
car. We're gonna do a little bit more damage. And then we're gonna pot swap. Two more fireballs, I think. All right, physics coming out. Kobe? No. There's one. Okay, we landed it. No! Yes! Fuck you, Moose! Fuck you! Nice! There we go! That was some fucking strategizing there, man. <laughs> Epic. The pot fight, man. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Woo, feels good. That boss was hard, man. All right, speaking of hard bosses. <laughs> I bloodhound stepped through the bullshit move. <laughs> now time for twin gargoyles. Woohoo! <laughs> oh god, that's gonna be fucking awesome. Well, how do we beat the gargoyle before? Well, there was only one of them. <laughs> and we used the horse. <laughs> now there's two and we can't use the horse. <laughs> I think they have less health, though, than the other gargoyles. So, uh, yeah, it should be, uh, it should be exciting. <laughs> I wonder if magic pots... I think we tested them and the damage was shitty, but... Now we have, like, more pothead stuff. Dude, Zach, thank you with the tier two, man. Thank you. Should we try the pots so or I'll pot it up? Fuck it, let's throw a pot at him. Lightning or magic? That's a good question, actually. They're they're just as weak to lightning as magic, correct? They have a higher lightning resistance, 40 versus 20. So the ground evens it out, right? Except that we can actually boost our int higher than our faith. So we'll, we'll try magic bots because suck it, YOLO. The bots were kind to us in the last fight. Yeah, I think water makes it even, but we can boost our int higher. Okay. Well, no, we can't, actually, because we have the fucking pothead. Rip Burger King. Alright, let's see. Are lightning pots easier to make? I gotta put these pots in the bonfire. Lightning pots, I think, are easier to make, too. So... Fuck them. Oh, I gotta unequip these stupid things. Maybe it'll work. I really didn't expect pots to do that much damage against the last boss, guys. I really didn't. 
Oh, you're right. It's the gravel stones that fucking. But these ones are easy to make. Let's just go throw one and see what the damage is like. And then we'll figure out a strat from there. Dax, huh? Lightning spear. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go throw a pot. We'll see. Yeah, maybe max, but they have to actually be in the water then. What's the armor do? Uh, the chest piece gives me one faith. And the helmet makes pots do more damage. Actually. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> we should probably do the right physic. Is there a big magic pot that's easier to farm? Yeah, I don't know a zombie. I don't think there is a big magic pot, right? You need old fangs for him? I got 21. We beat that fucking moose, man. Well, let's just see how much damage this does. I don't think pots are the answer. I gotta pee. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of pots. Fuck that. Nah, zombie, the Forbidden Lands one. Uh, we rode on our horse and casted glint blades. So we're going to try the same strategy without the horse this time. Try magic pot? I wouldn't expect it to do dramatically more damage, right, dude? I don't think it's going to work. It could do a little bit more damage. It would have to do about three times the damage, though, of that pot to consider that viable, I think. Right? About uh, maybe four times the damage. <laughs> so we're going to try wizardry. Oh, 
Cast speed. I might have to RTSR for these guys. I'm thinking we will. And then we don't have the best mass talisman, unfortunately. Shit. Yeah, this is gonna be painful. I mean, maybe they'll take really good damage. There's a chance. Ah, oh, shit, we can't even use this. Oh, fuck, cast speed. This might be a boss that we're gonna have to actually get some rune arcs for. What's up, so black? How are you doing? Showed up just in time to wizard. You know, I wonder if Night Maiden's Mist would be good here, because they get kind of passive in phase two. Right? And we could aim a Night Maiden's Mist for the one in back. That's just chilling. This could be a good night maintenance fight. But let's see what kind of damage you're doing here. I really think this would be a good play for an Iron Maiden's Mist. I don't think they do their bullshit attack either, right? Actually looking pretty chill. See if we get the one night maidens in the back right now, he would just walk right into it. One at a time, please, one at a time.
I think we can kind of walk him into those. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to hit your friend. Hey. Okay, so our physic wore off, and now we're not doing any damage. So we're gonna switch to Godfrey's icon. Oh, I didn't even RTSR! <laughs> Oops. Well, he would have been dead already. Fuck. <sighs> if we would have RTSR, that guy wouldn't have been alive there to kill me. Alright, let's go get nine minutes missing RTSR and fucking. Psh, not that bad, actually. Hopefully, that wasn't just beginner's luck. But anything else we needed? I don't think so. Something I forgot? What I forget? There's always something to forget, man, that's for sure. That would have actually been a huge game changer. RTSR and Night Maiden's Mist. I think that's all I forgot. Runark would be nice to push the damage. If we, die, if we die this time, we'll go get some Runarks. But I think we'll be okay. Drink is bad. Oh, he does do the bullshit attack. Oh, no, that's the easy one. If I want to ruin Far Moon X, I actually want to bring Glenblade Phalanx for it because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, but that, we're not going to call that a, an attempt. That was too quick. Man, you know what sucks about the RTSR strat, though? Who can guess? <laughs> I'm the Night Maiden to this. Bro, fuck that move, man. Fuck that move. Uh, let's get some rune arcs. And then my own night maidens miss could kill me with our TSR. Which would probably happen.
Exactly. All right, time for some runarchs, guys. Yeah, that's true. The gar the poison also could kill me in one hit. I think it might already. A poison proc. But yeah, I think we don't want RTSR. Let's bring some red. Kill my neck. Got a cramp. I wonder if I have a cool weapon I could turn around with. With this strat. Max flying sword could be cool here, actually. We haven't done the consecrated snow field yet, so black. So we can't get the Graven Mass Talisman. Yeah, that this could be cool. I've actually been doing some invasions with the uh, Phalanx and Turnaround deck with various weapons. And it's pretty good, actually. You'd be surprised. Phalanx is pretty underutilized. Oh, uh, the five int talisman. Uh, I mean, I don't think that's going to be better. Well, I guess it would be better than Graven Mass, wouldn't it? <sighs> yeah, we could do Ronnie's quest. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. There is no training dummy. Yeah, five end would actually push our damage pretty good with the meteorite stuff. Well, we gotta go get the finger blade and everything. Am I going to turn this into a low-level PvP build? Um, I mean, nah, I don't really have any plans for it, to be honest. Originally, the idea was to be able to do some experimental stuff on this, but then I didn't realize, since this is on my second PlayStation profile, I have to pay for another subscription to PlayStation Plus in order to back up my save. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to do it that bad.
All right, that's one way to uh, handle an invasion. <laughs> he chose death. <laughs> All right, he could have... I mean, I have, like, no health and I'm double sword sealing. The greatsword would have done a fuckload of damage to me. I guess he didn't want it. <laughs> Why try when you can just quit? I mean... Not a lot of people think, like, to open up the PlayStation console to quit out of the app. And what's up, Shrome? I don't think that's something that crosses people's mind that much when they get invaded. It's only like a PvP thing, I think. Only PvPers are salty enough to actually close the app. <laughs> yeah, that too. It's faster just to die. The Mass Nerderer? <laughs> it's a pretty awesome name. Oh, that might work. He's not doing the L2 button. What a maniac. About 20 casts. These guys have wholesome ass names. <laughs> oh, they've aggroed the entire fucking game front. Oops, didn't mean to kill him. I don't know if that works. Phalanx into Nox Sword. Maybe I need something a little faster. Oh, let's go get the Stargazer's Talisman. That'll definitely help against the Gargoyles. But is there a reward for deciding to come down here? Oh yeah, and we get the arcane whetstone too! Bleed Ansper. That's pretty huge. I'm really not sure what we're going to do for Melania. I haven't put much thought into it. What's up, Paklos? Like, I don't, I don't know a good Melania strat at level 1 in New Game 7. <laughs> Might actually end up rotting her. Poison ants were... Or the, the bleed answer with poison mist might be the Melania strat. No, she's super resistant to poison and rot, though. Like, maybe the most resistant. It's technically possible.
It's gonna be hard. She's more resistant than the moose, even. Yeah. It's gonna be painful. I don't know what order we should do either. Death poker and bees? Maybe. Ah, not believing in my it is in thy my thigh soon. Ah. My strain I am so I must thank you may it was but Maybe. We gotta kill Godskin fucking again, man. Jesus Christ, I, we, I've, it's crazy because like, you fight all the Godskins, at least in this playthrough, like back to back to back. It's just like no shortage of Godskins. And there's a hat we want to get here too. Well, now we can use the Mimic Helmet, and we don't have to use the Sword Seal. That's kind of nice. So, we will bring out the Antsper, and we'll just shoot him with Blade Bolts, I think. Ah, let's give the Poison Mist Antsper. Good. I think we're ready. Um, we got the staff here. We, we we did the uninverted tower already. I think Perceptor Sat now is in the rafters, which you should probably get. I could already killed that chick. Wait, didn't we kill her? Huh? She's back? Did she drop anything this time? Uh oh. Does she drop something the second time that we fight her, though, or not? We already got a magic downpour. Oh my god! What would she drop? Her hat? We just picked up her hat, didn't we? Some spell? Fuck. A different hat? Lucidity doesn't? What's his fuck sell it? Oh 
Oh my god. We're gonna need more blue, I think. Fuck. We ain't running past nothing, man. <laughs> we ain't running past fucking nothing. I didn't want to throw a fire pot at them because I don't want to craft more. And there's Skip. Yeah, but she drops something we need. Well, we definitely need some way to deal with the hands. Honestly, we need to go get some volcano stones. We've been out of them. Uh, is there not a bonfire close? Yeah, it's hard to dragon breath them. Maybe we could dragon breath them through the wall with the dragon fire. We need more of these anyways, though. This could kill them pretty easily. I hope. Yeah, we could try bowing her. We're gonna teleport though, right? Maybe we can rain at arrows from the lip, right? Where she can't shoot us like before I took that step forward. That might work. Yeah, we'll try that. And we could try dragon firing the hands too. That should be enough. A gravity spell is actually really not a bad idea, Z. I wonder if we can pull her off the map. You think she has ledge protection? I could see that. Try you tried a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see that if we can get away without using some pots. Yeah, I could glimpse some blade, spam her. I think that rain arrows might work well though.
Something now what I would call FP efficient. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to bring more blood. So I don't know where I don't know if any arrows are gonna work either. I'll we'll be honest. Ooh, we'll try standing further away. Maybe <laughs> a better way to kill these fucking hands. I'm gonna craft some volcano pots. I really thought that would work better. Let's min max completely to fight the hands. Okay. I'm expecting some big damage here. I mean, sure, that was surprisingly good. Alright, there's two alive! Bro... No, I'm wasting them! Fuck! Okay... Short bow... Arrows reach... I mean, it's working. Certainly not the fastest strat. Another win for Robin Hood, looks like. Maybe she doesn't teleport in this one. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, she teleported. <laughs> Gonna have to play this real safe. Shit, that's pretty good damage.
Alright, how to survive the next ones then? Maybe I can pull them up. Shit about darkness. Ah, how do I kill him? <laughs> I don't know how to kill him. Maybe we can poison him? And 70 HP. Uh, if their HP is downscaled, that might be actually then. They might have the lowest amount of HP possible, and the downscaling is fucking pushing them more. Do you poison a ghost? Well, we're gonna try our hardest. I don't think we're poisoning the ghost. Please stop moving! Alright, we tried our best. I know ghosts are weak to lightning. God damn it, we don't have any lightning. Oh, we do, we do. Fucking God! Bro! This <laughs> is so shit. Bottom, okay. Let's bottom. I hope there's no more. Good call. Good call. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No one else come here. Gandalf, man, thank you so much for the resub. Wow, for lucidity? 
I don't even know what that does. <laughs> That's it? Not even a fucking hat? <laughs> you guys told me there was a hat. <laughs> Doesn't that like wake you up or something? <laughs> If you're like half asleep, <laughs> that's so garbage. <laughs> How is that so garbage? <laughs> Cures fucking sleep, man. Ridiculously long fight <laughs> to cure sleep. Hey, then some fireflies are kind of nice. That was ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. There we go. There's a talisman up there? We already have a shitty cerulean one from, like, the first playthrough, I think, or not. From the first time in the in the tower. I'm not sure if that's a different one. Alright, this should be pretty easy. Man, I didn't realize how shiny the page armor is. It's fucking cool. That shit is shiny as hell. I thought I was strafing that. Before he goes phase two. Got him rotted. I don't think he's poisoned anymore. Get the Intalisman. That's huge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Cerulean Amber Medallion and the Cerulean Amber Plus One was up on top there. One of those three. So I think we don't ever have to come back to this shitty ass tower. 
Pretty confident. The worst fashion. Yeah, it's pretty hard to make that fashion work in any scenario ever. Kinda don't mind the mimic helmet from the back of the page's guard, but from the front. No. This is Ronnie's quest, yup. Yeah. So we can actually do both underground areas today if we wanted to. Because fart snacks is available once we do Ronnie's quest. We just have to kill the gargoyles, but this talisman will help us with the gargoyles. Sitting pretty well here. Yeah, now we just gotta kill twin gargoyles. Easy peasy. Alright, let's go back for him. Yeah, I think the Night Maiden's missile work wonderfully in phase two. Just gotta, you know, dodge that fucking laser sword that apparently I stuck. Nah, we killed Heal Moose, but it was fucking hard. Hardest boss of the day. Probably harder than Godskin Duo. Godskin Duo is just like a test of patience. Where every time I died, it was just because of greed. But the Moose took some pretty good strategizing. The pots is a really smart idea that you guys had. I was neglecting them. All right, we only need two spells. There we go, and to magic. Ah, we beat fair Mizzoul, man. All right, so magic scorpion, ritual sword, int. I'm actually curious how much spell buff we get. Well, a lot because we don't have the stats. Let's see, 145. Jesus Christ, three int. Gets us, like, a lot. <laughs> Math is hard. Now... Graven Mass? Or an eight spell power? Anyone know? I mean, yeah, Graven School or Eight Spell Power? Oh, we could just go for Cast Speed. Fuck it. Now we can go Cast Speed since we have enough Int from this to use the Talisman. That's, that's probably the play. Well, the only mob to test it on is this guy, really. Which we have to come and kill. I think one of these guys drops the shield. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Probably that one on the bridge. He's pretty easy to kill, though, with 14 blue from that ledge. The other one we don't need to kill, right? I'm kind of thinking we'll do Consecrated Snowfield next, just to get our farm tech going. I think. Alright, let's go.
light roll so bad from this fight. Uh, I guess we could go light roll instead of cast speed. Probably better. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck blood on stuff. We got light roll. We're good. to the mist. My god, I am chugging through blue. Yes. You love the mist. Delicious misty goodness. does still have this bullshit fucking attack, man. Dude, that's like the move we've been hit by. The, that's the move that's killed us most in this entire fucking playthrough. This gargoyle spin fucking bullshit, man. We could block that one with a shield, but then we lose light roll. <sighs> That move is so fucked. Well, maybe we can light roll with this. We can. Okay, now I got a shield for that. Is losing all of our damage worth light rolling? And definitely not. <laughs> the last thing we want to do is take off the helmet. We don't even have the stats for the meteorite stuff then. Oh, we're no longer doing yellow damage. Oh, I didn't use my physic. Fuck. We almost got the first try. Almost. And not so not going so great this time. What's up, Pickles? God damn it. I am fucking up, man. I'm getting hit by attacks. I don't ever get hit by that fucking bullshit. Fucking panic roll. Trash! 
The wind one I always get killed by, but not this one. I need to get away from this fucking doorway. The rocks, man. I mean, I mean, this is doing some work, I think. both at the same time. This is the whole point of the fucking AI fucking nerf. You're not allowed to do a jump attack while you do a range attack from two different angles. Fucking illegal bullshit. We'll try a maiden smith just for phase two. If I can separate them. I mean, that damage is phenomenal. God damn it! I almost killed you first fucking try! I almost fucking killed you first try! And then I went to optimize and now everything's fucking up! Stupid gargoyles. Yeah, this is like... This is hands down the best strategy for them. After fighting them like six times. Ah, Jesus Christ. Maybe the miss is doing more than I thought. I don't know where the miss is in relationship to there it is. <laughs> to where I'm standing. <laughs> I found it. I found a wall as well. Please be kind. That's a good fucking mist right there. Oh, I need to separate these guys somehow. So my god, the mist. Okay, we can't block that.
Nope. Not not with that shield at least. Not because of the dead stone work on gargoyles. <sighs> well, I don't know what we're gonna do about that spin. It hits at least two times. It's Suki, happy day of the week to you, man. Breaking that bullshit. Big mist. Stay back! Ah, oh, we're missing them. So that's that's the missed strat right there. <laughs> Uh, this guy is like infinitely more dangerous than the other one. Boy, that poison hits way fucking further. Then it looks like it hits, you know? I thought we were good there. We tried Phalanx? No, I don't. It doesn't do nearly as much damage as this tiny starter spell from the prisoner. It's weird. Takes like 10 times the FP and the int as well. Not even close to the damage of the uncharged glint blade. Nah, you can't rot these guys. You can't do any satisfaction against them. That's why it's really hard. Was a healthy misting. Dude, Platinum Gringo, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Appreciate that. Very close to my mist. So we're gonna need to try to kill the twin blade one. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, this way is always pretty miserable. Shitty ass fucking rock, man. Alright, 
go far as fuck. Bro, don't do the bullshit attack. I mean, how do you even deal with that? That right there? D uh, just die? Like, I don't know how I could have possibly avoided that combo. That seemed impossible. Well, maybe if I leveled up and I could just tank it. Do charge me from across the map. If you leveled up, then we wouldn't have to fight him at the same time? Yeah, I mean, normally... Well, I mean, honestly, I usually do kill the gargoyles when I'm, when I'm, like, just playing the game. Because I find it somehow less annoying than killing a sewer mo. Mostly just going through all the sewer, I find less annoying. I, I like Mo as a boss. I just hate getting to him. separate these guys somehow. Fuck off, dude! Are you fucking kidding? I dodged it. The miss is eating that one up in the back. Yo, are we gonna have enough FP? Can't afford to light roll from an FP perspective. Uh oh.
I don't know how to fight that. The whole playthrough. There's been one move that I can't figure out how to dodge, and that's it right there. The whole playthrough. I've tried rolling under him. I've tried rolling away from him. I tried rolling early. I tried rolling late. I rolled one of them earlier. I I just feel like it was luck. I don't know what the fuck to do. Maybe a barricade shield. I just don't know what. Oh, well, we barricaded the one in the capital, but this is not the one in the capital. I don't know if light rolls help. Is that I don't really know the goal of how to dodge it. I don't really know what I'm trying to do. Oops. That's why I'm trying to kill that one first. Think, think, think. So if we rune arc, we could use the Dorito shield with barricade and try that. I mean, I think it's our only option. Might have to use something like the Great Shield Talisman. No, I mean, your sling doesn't work well. Not in your game, something. Not enough damage. Trust me, it's like the fucking 15th Gargo I've got stuck on. I think we're gonna have to figure out some sort of shit right though. So ideally, we're fighting this one. Well, this one's engaging with me. While well, I hit the one in back. Ideally. I need to keep him in lock on range. I 
There's definitely easier to set than done. Oh, it's very close to a poison. We're never gonna need more blue. Oh. Fire Giant was easy, it was first try. It was like the really fast boss. If I so weak to status effects, did we definitely first try the Fire Giant? What's up, Michael? It was definitely one of the easiest bosses of the run. How to do this better? Yeah, starlight shards don't grow on trees. Well, at least I don't think. Don't mist until phase two. Rizzo Blood NPC was the first try. Vike was for sure the hardest. Vike and Eleonora. As far as NPCs go. I mean, doing charge attacks is obviously way more FP efficient. But it's a lot harder to do. Let's say fuck cast speed. Who did kill Hoslo? Hoslo was really hard, actually. I forgot about that. Yeah, he was really tough, also. I should have brought a shield. Well, no, we can. I think we have the Dorito with Barricade. Man, that moves hard to dodge because you need to dodge it late as possible in order to dodge it, but it's so fast. And when you get far away from it, it's much harder to get a read on it on when to dodge it. Gotta be something else that could help. I mean, we could bust out Terra Magica for these initial charge attacks. That would help us at least push the phase. Yeah, Platinum. Shit, he might be phase two already if we would have brought Terra Magica. Probably I'll go.
So I don't think I actually want to kill this one right now. Because then that means that guy's going to be full aggro the whole time. They won't stop gangbanging me, man. They won't stop. I never see them so aggressive when two of them show up before. I'm just getting completely sandwiched. No, we don't want to twin one versus one. We don't want to kill this one. Because twin blade guy would just do his twin blade move that I don't know how to dodge. And then I just die. So we need to kill that one. What is in the back? Which is why we got a Night Maiden's Mist. If I can kill him, I mean, the fight's over. Thank you, Dave Arino. Like, this guy's a fucking joke. So, how do I get this guy to fuck off? We'll try using the environment a little bit more. Fucking map. Oh, never mind, you can't. Stand still and puke there, please. Nope. Okay, this is all we want. Oh my god! Isn't even a shield related death. Man, this is fucking hard, dude. <sighs> yeah, if you get close to the guy, he actually has a different spin to win attack, and it's really hard to tell which one he's doing. Ah, let's go get Terra Magica. Fuck. I can't believe that we- the closest attempt was the very first try.
Yeah, that's a frustrating feeling. Lyral would have saved us there, too. Um, let's hope we have enough FP to light, because uh, light rolling would have definitely won that. Well, it would have helped. I should have attuned Phalanx too, just to see. Just kind of hung out in the back that time. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. I mean, there is opportunity to get a huge amount of charge attacks against that guy in the beginning if I can space it properly. Alright, we'll wait like three seconds before I start unloading. That's worth the Terra Magic one. Maybe if I can get myself back over there. Oh, it doesn't last very long. Five seconds. Might be able to slicer him in the Terra Magica. Yeah, let's add Slicer to the mix. Because it would be just so nice to nuke this guy and get into phase two and deal with that. Because, yeah, that would take a lot, of, a lot of time off to fight. All right, so we lead Terra Magica. And we'll throw up some of those Glint Blades. Then we'll fight him with Slicer. Let me try Phalanx also. Because we haven't really tried it yet. Phalanx is maybe a little safer to cast. So it has that going for it. And we can cast in the beginning. When in the Terra Magica. We're waiting the five seconds. So it's basically just going to be free damage. Gets buffed by this staff, also. Oh, 
Fucking takes a lot of FP though. Somehow I just have less damage now. <laughs> Somehow I've just done the worst amount of damage there. Alright, let's go back to slow and steady strats, cause fuck that was the worst attempt we've had. I don't know why. I used the physic before the door. Cause I can't use failings without the physic. Try it one more time. I don't know what went wrong. And Link's like healed him. <laughs> Maybe he just dodged. Trilink's taking way too much FP, though. I got greedy. Well, I wish I didn't have Phalanx on here now. We're gonna remove it because it's gonna fuck up my swapping. But we've successfully gotten worse at the fight and optimized worse. And Slicer is definitely not the play. Gargoyle is going down. Feels good. Gargoyle is fucking me in the ass right now. Feels bad. Very bad. We somehow got worse and worse at the fight. Because the first attempt was the best one. <laughs> Uh, what's up this one guy? I mean, we'll RTSR for better damage. There's no reason not. We'll just not get in our mist. That'll help the DPS a lot. Max, thank you so much for gifting this one guy a sub. Oh, uh, we can get a whopping three more int if we uh, <laughs> didn't have light roll. We did, immortal. And now we're having some issues here. I mean, that's insane damage, though. That's the, definitely the start that we want. So we got that optimized a little bit better. We push that phase fast. I forgot Night Maiden's miss now. <laughs> Max, thank you so much, dude, for the thousand bits, bro. That's a fucking lot of bits, dude. I got stuck on a fucking rock. No, I missed one to help there. So that time I tried dodging away from it, 
in like every single way I dodge, I still die. Doesn't seem to make any fucking difference. <sighs> it's like a 75%. I can use a dagger and still maintain light roll. Max, do you really think that's the difference between living and dying in New Game 7? <laughs> Hi, ass motherfucker. If we just had 25 more HP, we would have it. I just wish I understood that one move. Jesus Christ! Please go away. All right, let's try to fucking mess around with the rock again. Comes the flying attack. I might have like rolled past it there, I don't know. Ah! What? Bro! Fucking chill! Where the fuck am I right now? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> What's up, Dodd and Scythe? Get stuck on every fucking rock! Keep the axe out. Go back to the axe. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Can someone give you tips? Yeah, what, what tips would you like for? And Dota and uh, Scythe, probably punctuation.
Bro, all the rainbow, you're gonna have to be more specific. Level up Viger. Oh, Max already beat me to it. That's the best tip anyone can give you. Okay, I think I've learned this is a roll as far away as fucking possible. Come on. What? Yo, I got stuck on something invisible. Did anyone see that? Stuck on something invisible. Yeah, you could just skip Margaret forever. Oh my fucking gun, new controller is getting all sweaty, guys! Yo, we're out of blue. I don't know how to use this. Tyler Star is gonna take too long to use. Damn it, I should have moved those spots. Fuck did I go? Oh my god, the pot whiff.
My head's too heavy to light roll with. Rip. Rip. Man, that was fucked up, man. That was so fucked up. God damn, man. Marcus, you fucking mad lad, you dude. Time to get soul. I I actually got sweaty there. <laughs> Marcus, thank you so much, dude. I can't start like Char. They're too slow. I couldn't even throw a pot. I couldn't even throw a pot. I didn't know how to start like Char. They take fucking forever. I don't know when to do one. That was, uh, it went through my head and I'm like, man, this shit is so slow. I'd have to bait out a sp one specific overhead attack maybe to do it. Can't believe we've been through 14 drinks. <laughs> 14 drinks. Maybe Rusty, maybe. Maybe. And go in the fight, Starlight Sharded. It's a good idea if I was more confident. Honestly, we don't even need to do the pothead swap. With this many pots now that now that we have them, and I'll just free aim. Yeah, the deer fight was pretty sick. Thank you, Marcus, man. That is an idea, Rusty. Can we use the pots first? No, I can't use consumables first because I'm not confident in the fight. And then when we get them low, we won't have them. Primal Glenstone Blade. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the play. I don't know. No, no, because we have pots. We have pots. That would have been enough to kill him. Miami, no, this is this is optimal gameplay. Welcome to Elden Ring. <laughs> so you want to be a wizard, Harry? <laughs> oh, you're going to be naked and look like the Hamburglar's cousin. <laughs> the inbred one. This is... This is... This is what Peak Wizard looks like. It, it's... Doesn't sound real, but it is. Drop them magic pots, you need FP for them. Shit, I need FP for all these pots, don't I? You know, there was a couple uncharged Glint Blades that I threw out. And we're just gonna have to, to not do that. You know, maybe it's enough FP to like... See, this is the, the attack I might be able to Starlight Shard on. That one right there. That's what I was just thinking, Veggie. I wonder if I could uh, throw a magic pot like right now. I could. I'm going to focus this one down because it seemed like I did get good. Okay, let's, let's see. S 
stupid mouth diarrhea. <sighs> Let's have ramen. Rules are don't talk about fight. Yeah, the vacuum slice. Oopsies. Oopsies. Must be FB efficient. Huge. Fuck you. Oh, I could have thrown another one. Um, I don't know exactly what all the changes are. That's a great question. They definitely got a shitload more health. And, and usually you get stronger to try to, to kind of like keep up with it, but we're level one, so we don't get stronger. Yeah, I don't like, it's a bunch of weird shit too. Like, I, th I think they do more damage. They have more health. They actually build resistances and poise health. Yeah, a lot of shit. See, yeah, that's why I can't throw pots. I'm just throwing them in the trash, man. Uh, region lock means we are, we have entered this region underground. So now we can't make any progress until we kill it. Yeah, Frenzy. Yeah. Honestly, I could have killed that boss with a lot of things when I ran on FP. I just got stuck in a corner. And then I panic rolled. I don't know if you guys caught that. Like, I, I somehow found the very edge of the map. I did not do a lot of damage there. But we did a lot of damage there. Ah, fuck, I forgot the RTSR. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I got stuck by the coffin. Yeah. So I would have been fine. I shouldn't have menued so aggressively. Is what I shouldn't have done because I was like really desperately looking for the talismans and not paying enough attention to the map. What's up, Hellish? I don't know, peanut butter. There's definitely a certain amount of RNG though with the glint blades, whether they run into them and whether or not we get headshots. And then I'm trying like every single charged one that I can. I was. I'm gonna just have to drink in the beginning. No, I wanna be more efficient to use Night Maiden's Mist. What you mean for FP cost? <sighs> Maybe, the problem is I actually need to waste FP in the beginning. It doesn't make a difference. I need to have a full bar there. Because that time I tried not having a full bar and shooting a couple of glint blades and he just missed them all completely. So I need a drink in the beginning. I 
Honestly, a phalanx would not be bad to just make a little bit better use. Because I need to, like, space this properly. <laughs> Money is hard! <laughs> It's a fine line between when he's too far and he's too close. It's very tricky. No, I don't stand out. I don't do fog wall cheesing shit. Let's save that for hosts. It might be beneficial too to actually cast uh the Terra Magic are like further away from the fog wall. I don't know. We'll try getting a little closer this time. We just haven't been doing a lot of damage on these openers. I don't really understand what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I forgot to use my physics. <laughs> There's a lot going on, okay? There's a fucking a lot of shit that I'm paying attention to as I go through this fog wall. What's up, Chance? <laughs> a whole fucking lot of shit. Trying to think how much FP we're missing. That's a good call, Rusty. There's got to be like one more spell I can cast in the beginning. We could try a golden bottle, maybe? Does that work on magic? Yeah, we've been to the gargoyles for a couple hours. Almost had him one time. Panicked. Ran into a corner. Fucking panic rolled. Uh, is there, like, anything I can do? I don't really think so. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good call, though, to use the Physic after I do the Terra Magica. Mm, be too close. Fuck. I guess I'll do it at the Fog Wall. What fucking going on just getting through this stupid fucking fog wall? Jesus fucking maintenance fucking bullshit. It's a learning experience, okay? It's a learning experience. Alright, do it at the fog wall, drink, then physic. That looked perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's a good chunk of damage. One of my Glen Blades missed!
Y'all are freaking me out! How is that so fucking cursed? Like, I can't do anything there. I gotta dodge this fucking 300 yard fucking vacuum slice. And then the gargoyle's like, oh, you thought you are gonna horizontally dodge? Well, let me just horizontally spin to cut you off from every single spot. All right, Golden Vow, though. Okay. It's, yeah. One more thing we can do with our FP in the beginning. That should help. We're actually burning that gargoyle super fucking fast. I just need to not get hit by two attacks at the same time. It's fucking bullshit. Is there not a mana pot? UI. It is. I just keep it hidden. I held on triangle to use the mana pot and then I hit down on the D-pad. Just the way I'm programmed. Kitty's like, oh, You're in distress. Kitty, it's way too warm though, bro. I'm sorry. It's way too warm. I'm sw I got all sweaty fighting this boss. All right, Golden Vow should be helpful. This is definitely the boss we've done the most buffs on. Uh, with, without question. Fuck. I don't think that's going to be very FB efficient. Well, let's see. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Is that doing more damage? I don't think Golden Val's doing more damage. I forgot to fucking physic! <laughs> There's too much buffing! Too much fucking buffing going on right now. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I'm about to R1 this guy with the fucking unupgraded sword. Fuck, don't forget one of the ten fucking buffs you need to do. Should we say fuck Lyrol and Twin Bird Kite Shield and more damage? You know what? This twin bird stacks with this, right? You know, let's fucking go all in. Oh wait, no, then I don't get the buff from my weapon. Does anyone know the difference? The staff versus twin bird kite? Yeah, Vow is the last. Vow is now. And then... Honestly, I'm gonna use the physic. Yeah, right. Entropy, almost three years. Thank you so much, dude. All right, just don't forget to use the physic. Wait, do I need the weapon for Val? No, I don't think so. So much work to get one shot in a corner. So much work to get one shot in a fucking corner. Like, <laughs> it's buffing, you know, if you like buffs, why not throw some craftables in the fucking mix? Spend fucking twice as long outside the fog wall as I actually do fighting the fucking boss. No, like 10 times longer. Was that adding a lot of damage? I have no fucking idea how much I'm hitting these guys for normally. Yeah, nailed it. 
All right, we'll drink first. We'll cast this. Remove we'll Zik. All right, I think I did everything. No! Still, ow, I missed him all. You know, fuck it. We're just, we're just. I'm gonna fight him anyways. <laughs> That's so hot. <laughs> Cursed buffs, y'all. Boy, we are doing so much damage, though. It's actually kind of crazy. Poison's coming, the poison's coming! <laughs> I don't want to do too many Glen plates. I don't want to do too little, also. Fuck you! Okay. Optimizing my FP. I think we're pretty good here. I was thinking about throwing a pot there, but he was really far away. Okay. out. This is very good. I 
I must have hit a lot more charge attacks this time. Two drinks still. I don't know how we ran out before. Maybe I didn't have RTSR on? I don't know, man. What's up, six? Let's fucking go. Alright, so where do we want to go next then? Maybe I missed less. Uh, maybe I didn't do as many charge attacks. I don't know where we want to go next. What up, Road Rage? The time we were close had a lot of Miss Glen Plains. <sighs> Consecrated Snowfield gets us the item find that we can do some interesting farming tech. And it gives us Graven Mass Talisman. So I, I think we're going there next. Consecrated Snowfield. Huh? Pole? No, I don't want you guys to decide. You'll fuck me up. We could do Rot Lake area. We could do uh, Ashen Capital. Underground or Consecrated Snowfield. Yeah, let's go to the fucking Consecrated Snowfield. Gideon. Well, the problem is then we're locked into all the last bosses. I, th I think we'll do this and then we'll go underground. Yeah, we killed Mo. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Then we need to farm some shit, too. I'm trying to think what in Limgrave we should start off with. Maybe we'll start off with weeping. Black Sox was, was pretty easy, actually, when we used the Black Flame Tornado. Pretty chill. We got that Mimic fight here. Right, let's fight the mimic like this. Filthy. No, I don't want the mimic fight to last too long. That's for sure. Uh, and we can do the steak. The last one we just spun in one, just completely obliterated him. It worked way better than I thought it was going to work. We got real lucky. Fortunately, I have like no bleed resistance. No, I'm not going to cheese the mimic fight. You fucking piece of shit, dude. Are you supposed to find a hidden walkway, like, without the internet? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, it's not anything you need to do. It's, like, secret, I guess. I mean, are the uh, notes from like the fucking I don't, devs or something like that? Oops. 
Yo, get this message off my fucking screen. So fucking troll. That's probably a good place to farm the octopus, uh, octopus summon, right? I mean, invisible, invisible like roads are a thing in, in Souls games, so a lot of people probably spend more time than they like to admit just for trying to find them. Oh shit, I forgot I had those. Oh! <laughs> I forgot I had pots on. <laughs> Easy, boss. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the mimics I thought would be a little bit harder, but <laughs> I guess they have such shit amount of health because they're level one. <laughs> they're not hard at all. <laughs> Secrets are fun if I even only if even if you only get a stupid wizard hat. Yeah, the wizard hats are pretty fucking good though. Did I forget to grab the death root? Oops. It doesn't just give you it for free. Uh, you guys were looking out. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. I want to go farm some shit, though. Need a little break here from bosses after those gargoyles were so fucking. <gasps> Quests! We have reached the land of Mikla's Halic Tree. I've never heard Where this. Lobo and I began our travels. <gasps> Lobos? That I'm so close to home. These great snow-laden lands stretch far to the north. And beyond the ancient bowers. In the liturgical town of Ordna lies the place. Jen, that's fucking lore. That's pretty cool that they put Lobos in the game. Um, okay. What do we even need as far as items go? Did we ever get the gross messer? Let's just go down here and like evaluate the terrain here and see what we need to farm when we don't need to farm. We're worried about that death root. Isn't there like 10 extra in the game? All right, we need to figure out some sort of level one farm tech build. Let's check if we got Gross Messer. Hey, we did get the Gross Messer. Those Mausoleum Knights, what the, sh what the shit do they, do they drop? Those Mausoleum fucks. This is called Mausoleum Armor. And the Lord Schworn, Great Schward. I think we got that already. Let's try a Dragon Breath on him. Shit, do we have? Man, remember we farmed those Runax to use them on the Gargoyle boss? Well, about that. <laughs> we can use them to farm! <laughs> fun, 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 fun! Uh, alright. Optimized Dragon Breath shenanigans. Probably looks something like this. Because, I mean, this is probably the easiest place to get the mausoleum stuff. And we'll just do it in segments. Like, we'll get the mausoleum shit to drop, and then we'll go someplace else. Hell yeah, Kylo. Go fuck around with some other shit, then. Yo, what's up, guys? Y'all want to get dragon breath? Nice. And 
and nothing. Easy. Yeah, let's see if the soldiers do well against the dragon breath. Pretty sure they have fucking disgusting shields, don't they? Do we need to figure out a way to kill the pages in this tunnel? Is this the easiest place to farm the page shit? Because we got some page shit, but I don't know which page shit it is. Oh yeah, let's use a silver foot. Oh, he got another Dorito shield. I wish, Cucumber. And thanks for the new controller, by the way. That was fucking Pog. Yo, Amazon's on that shit, man. Fucking controller delivered to my house in like three hours. It was crazy. All right, we got a Lord Shorn straight sword. Even with all the Christmas hype. So it's called mausoleum armor. Do we have the greatsword already? All right, we got the greatsword, we got the straight sword, we got the Dorito shield. And take it easy, cucumber. So we're looking for mausoleum soldier armor. Just like that. Oh, we got Mausoleum Greaves and we got Mausoleum Gauntlets. Okay, we just need the helmet now. The rarest item. Boy, if I could do one more damage. I do not think we have the chest piece. Is there any more of them? Mm, no. Shit, this is going quick. Dude, imagine if maybe we should level up to level two for one more item find. Eh? No one would notice, right? Oh, you should put the scar seal on. Yeah. Maybe we should Grafted Blade, too. Nah, I need to change a bunch of shit. Uh, drop the fucking helmet! What's up, Sky Guy? That could be the helmet. That was pretty efficient. Oh, let's go! We got everything just like that? Are you kidding me right now? Yo, this is cool. I should wear this more. All right, what else in Weeping Peninsula is like to get? I guess demi-human shit, right? What are they all drop? The bloodstained knife. We got that. Did they drop the stone? Oh no, they. Uh, 
uh, what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the little dudes. We got the staff. Do they drop? We don't have a rickety shield. And we don't have a falchion. I think I know the best spot to farm them, actually. I don't think we have a falchion. Oh, we do have... No, that's not a falchion. Alright. They dropped a spiked club. I think we got that, though. Dude, Nanelion, thank you so much. For the five gifties. Appreciate that. Where the fuck are clubs? Thank you so much, Nanelion. And Max with the hundred bits as well. I appreciate that. Yeah, let's do it here. All right, all right. White bat, thank you also. Thank you, guys. Come on, Rickety Shield. Yeah, good luck rocking Dragon Breath with your wicked gas shield. <gasps> Rickety shield acquired so quick! I do, Max, I do. So, is the only other thing we need from them the falchion? And it's a string, which we actually used to choose the pyro on the ladder. Well, we, we tried. <laughs> so just the falchion. And let me get all of their loot. Okay. What other enemies are there in Weeping Peninsula that we might need to get their shit? The Night Great Sword? Oh, that's in Weeping? We don't have the Octopus Head. Is there a good spot for that in Weeping? The Spiked Spear? Ah, uh, we'll farm that in Leornia. I got a spot. I know a guy. You hook me up. Yeah, Electric, we just beat Twin Gargoyles, and it was like an, uh, a multi-hour kind of thing, so we're rewarded with some farming. <laughs> Knight's Great Sword drops from all the Lord Knights that carry it. Um, I think we do that in the capital. The Gargoyles did take hours, I think. It's weird because, like, I keep saying that this is one of the hardest bosses of the run, but that's, like, every boss. <laughs> well, not Fire and Giant. Fire and Giant was really easy. <laughs> English Lord. You know, we got the Red Main Shield, so we wouldn't farm Red Main Knights for the Knight's Green Sword. Ooh, they don't want to drop this falchion. Stigio, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Fucking a scam train. Good call, might as well try to farm. Yeah, so... So the one with the unique shield would be... Where exactly? Max with the 300 bits with Twitch matching it as well. Thank you, man, Twitch. Where's my goddamn falchion? I'll use another silver foot. Then we should get the grafted blade tech going on. Hmm. Fuck it. 
Fuck it, we gotta use the foot anyways. Might as well. Ooh, we're not gonna be able to use this. Oh. Maybe. Well, I mean, we don't need that much damage. Well, we're not gonna be able to cast Dragon Breath then. Blah! I guess we'll do that for strength. Holy shit, Max gifting Fredo a sub as well. Holy shit, guys. Thank you so much. And a veggie. Holy shit. Are we fat rolling? No, we're not fat rolling. Alright, alright. Max, holy fuck, dude. Alright, maximum my Oh, I forgot to use the silver foot. Cranky gifting a Santu or a sub. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, now we can use a weapon, too. So, it's it's kind of nice, actually. Just in case one of these little fuckers get in my face. Where, Falchi? Thank you, Cranky. Oh my god, Nanelian, not done yet. I already gifted five subs. Now gifting 300 bits. Drop the shit. None more of your people have to die. You can make this stop. Why am I fat rolling? Why am I fat? That? Oh, I have to blade buffer off. Okay, that's kind of a problem. Drop the thing. We're rune arc too, aren't we? All right, we need lighter chest piece. Ah, might as well give the dragon breath a little bit more damage. Fuck, dude. Merry Christmas to you guys all. Thank you so fucking much. All right, hopefully we're not fat rolling. Okay. I think this is what optimal Falchian farming looks like. I don't, I don't think it gets me better than this. I mean, maybe the coastal cave, but this is really close to a bonfire. What's up, Posidon? Oh, don't kill me. One of these got to be a falchion. <gasps> there it is. There it fucking is. Let's fucking go. And none of your people need to die anymore. Be gone! I told you, if you dropped it, the rest could live. I'm gonna do Santa again this year? I don't know. Have you been naughty or nice? I see you when you're sleeping. I know the dirty things you do before you go to bed. So... Knight's Greatsword. Well, I mean, is that everything in weeping? I can't think of anything else, right? Oh, the demi-human shortbow. No, the whatever these things are called. The misbegotten shortbow. And then apparently the octopus head. I kind of want to knock out Weeping Peninsula. That's it. This bow is trash. Pickaxe? Weeping? We do not possess a pickaxe yet. But that's more of a limb grave thing. I can't figure out a good spot or a good strat to farm these stupid fucking arrow shooting fucks. Hmm. 
we can try these guys again. But they kill me a lot. Like, real bad. Where are they? So yeah, we got these. Aren't all the bows shit, bro? We've been using bows so much on this run. See, like, there's three of these dudes right here. But, like, they kill me. Oh, we might be strong enough now. It's looking like we're strong enough. Okay. Oh, is this a bonus mushroom? Oh my god, it is Christmas. <gasps> what is that? I want that. Oh, we use another silver foot for this. I need to put a marker on this bonfire. This is a sinky son of a bitch. You think gravity well for this instead of dragon breath? I mean, dragon breath working pretty good to me. Let's push it. We actually tried killing these guys with quite a variety of tactics. Nothing working effectively. Until now. That's pretty effective. Try misbegotten wing for dinner. Yeah, we'll kill the misbegotten, we'll get the misbegotten bow and then we'll stop farming for a little bit because I'm, I'm already over it. It already sucks. We're sure these guys dropped this bow. <laughs> right? Because I mean, we probably killed like 20 of these things so far for the run. We make sure we don't have it. Nope. Sure fucking do not. I don't know if gravity well would kill them in one hit. Definitely wouldn't kill two at a time. That's for sure. Dude, we got like five sword spears. Trying to farm the full bloom armor. Which was so far the hardest to farm item. So far. The full bloom chest piece. I don't know if you guys don't know what it is. This is the unluckiest piece of gear we've gotten. It's fucking cool though. We got the um, long half axe. We do. This is the last piece we need from Misbegotten, I think. The Iron Cleaver, for some reason, just did not drop for us, though. <gasps> yes! So much. Yes. Alright, I'm back to the Consecrated Snowfield. I think we got all the best farmed stuff out of Weeping. Can't think of anything else that's like the best efficient spot. Oh, we didn't get the Bandit Curve Sword yet, no. 
And the mushroom head. Man, it honestly looks like the mushroom head or the octopus head would be really good in here. No, we missed out on the pumpkin flow, actually. I accidentally did the thing. Ah, it's only two of them. And they're gonna be strong as shit, too, right? Uh, where is the best place to farm that? Yeah, we're using the grafted blade just to get five arcane to farm shit. That's how desperate we are. Ah, oh, the almanac lady armor. Oh, I figured we knock out all the easy shit first and then do the really hard shit later. Thank you, Immortal. It was, uh, definitely a fight. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet Runark. Goodbye. I'll miss you. I'll miss you a lot. I no longer can use the grafted blade. <laughs> I was fucked up, man. <laughs> Prima car and rune soon. There's got to be a better octopus farm than that. Those ones are all, well, probably like four or five there. Pink G, welcome in. We're, we're the current subject at hand is the best location in the game to farm the octopus head. If anyone has ideas, we aren't taking them. And then you get a virtual pat in the back. If your farm spot is chosen. In the valley with the Shamshire cave? I was kind of thinking that might be good, too. But we got two votes for Prima Car. Them bats, though. Them bats suck. Yeah, I can't, but we found the big octopuses. Now, I believe the octopus helmet drops only on the small octopuses, right? Should we fight these guys for an hour or should we go and do something else first? I think the grandma bats are gonna be too hard for the Makar farm for us. I think Kirby's right, actually. I think there's like a whole... I, I think that is the best spot. Yeah, first bleed. I think you guys are on point. Oh, we can get Frostbot materials now. Yeah, we've heard Misa Alexander. Who are the best spot? I'm trying to think about what I want to do first in the Consecrated Snowfield. Not really want to, I don't really want to do any of it. <laughs> it's all gonna suck. I mean, maybe the fucking... Yeah, Gargoyles got flawless eventually. That misbegotten is hard in that little room. I mean, we can fight. We can fight this stupid worm. Cause he's actually easy. I'm curious to see what the octopus is doing. New game seven. Yeah, we get a new terrible dragon breath. Oh, 
We actually ran out of keys. Oh my god. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, let's let the uh, octopus do the heavy lifting for us and see what happens. He's fucking them up. Holy shit. He really messed up that octopus. Assemble octopus army. Now you decide to help. Now. Okay, that's an issue. Um, He's not going to be as easy as I thought he was. Let's go kill him, though. Just do a Dragon Breath rotation. That should work. Yeah, round two. I wonder if pulley bow is better than rain of arrows. Rain of arrows kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie. It also doesn't take like three rings to use though. Sixteen decks for a new bow. Feels bad. Do we need the duelist armor to pull the octopuses near us? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, rain right arrows is efficient. We can just buy arrows now. It's fucking annoying. There's no stake out here. Do better, Octopus Army. Oh, did it jump that? <laughs> that was fucking cool. <laughs> that was so fucking cool. <laughs> it jumped its fucking sword. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> I don't think we bled him yet. There's one. Oh, I should probably do rot breath right now.
Don't rock my octopus, friend. Ah, pretty hard not to rot him, maybe. Whoa, why did Makara take so much damage all of a sudden? What? What was doing so much damage? The octopus just went fucking ham? That was crazy! That's that New Game 7 octopus, man. <laughs> Maybe because he got knocked down? He must have been hitting the headshots, is what it must have been. He was doing the... Slap. Just like when Kirby wrote. Um, alright, let's fight What's-Her-Face. I think the pulley crossbow will be good here. Let's get the stats for it. I still need dragon breath. I can't get the stats for this. With the Mimic Head, we actually do have the stats for Dragon Breath. Alright. That's not so bad. Did you guys ever notice that the dogs are chasing the ball? Kind of adorable. Probably the cutest thing in the game. Kinda rotted. Don't fucking be clever. Is this fucking recovery speed? Okay, um... Holy shit! I don't- I don't think that's gonna work for us. Let's do Venomous Fang. Mm. This could slap. That one feels good. Nice. I feel like I made all the right decisions. Fighting her. <laughs> Perfect weapons there. <laughs> yeah, first try. Let's fucking go. Let's unlock this shitty asshole dungeon. We're gonna have to do hard asshole before easy asshole. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I mean, we haven't. I would have thought we would have used Venomous Fang. That was the first time that we did it. 
Well, Dragon Halberd's fun until she jump attacks your Halberd R1. I know. NPC's kind of been... That was probably the easiest NPC fight that we've had. Just opening some bonfires. I wonder if there's a better way for us to kill Night Riders yet. The current strat kind of sucks. The current strat is carrying Slicer and uh, Ansper. It's not a very fast strat. <laughs> I wonder if Black Flame's gonna be better against Slicer, better than Slicer, because these guys are so strong compared to the other Knight Riders that we fought. Guess we want this. And then we'll bring a chilling mist scythe as well. Yeah, we haven't even killed ass the one. Can't wait for the farming, don't know why. Well, some of the farming is gonna be some of the most grueling shit. It's like New Game 7, Thorn Whip. Colossal Trumpet, dude. I mean, there's a bunch of things that are just going to be really, really, really hard to farm. Iron Greatsword? Yeah, we got the Iron Greatsword. I think we're going to do Night Riders now. Yeah, I'm feeling uh, cocky. So... How do we optimize? Cast. Maybe Ritual Sword. Dex? Don't even get me started about that fucking magma whip. No one saw nothing. I swear to God, you're banned if you talk about it. Technically, we didn't 100% the run because I fucked up Patch's quest. Well, in my version of 100%. Yeah, I, I just grabbed it from the previous game cycle. I was like, fuck this shit. Okay. Still can't cast Black Flame Blade. Well, I guess we'll do Wraith here. And then we'll bust out the scythe too. Alright, strats, let's go. What's up, Slargan? So, I think we're gonna see the entire... <laughs> ...caravan move. I, I don't know how this is gonna go with, like... ...them actually moving. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. It's gonna be interesting. Wait, I don't have poison mist on this. Oops. Redo. There we go. You think they stop at the ice? That's what I think's gonna happen, Bleach. 
Because I tried killing these guys in one of the previous game cycles. I don't know why. And then I was like, what the fuck? Forget that move has such a stupid huge hitbox. I should probably focus on the rod first. Dude, don't fucking be like this. Like, just like do normal shit. That's better. Keep forgetting Black Flame Blade. Oops. Probably should have just not done Black Flame Blade. <laughs> I forget it. Fucking fuck. I hate this fucking spell, man. If you're locked on, it just zooms you into your enemy and you die. You have to unlock and use this stupid fucking bullshit spell. So fucking dumb. Whoever designed this spell to suck and be terrible and like last no time, they, they fucking suck, the dev that designed Black Flame. It's just so fucking shit. Every single thing about it is shit. Except it's okay in New Game 7. It's, it's, it's good in New Game 7. All right, don't play bad. It's pretty important during this fight not to play bad. So you have to like unlock and jump towards the camera to fucking use this shitty thing. Or, or roll unlocked. Otherwise it'll zoom you to your death. Become the rats. Hi, he hath become the rot. Because I'm frosting this motherfucker. Let's go. All right, let's get some blood flame. Pussy.
Enter the mist. A little too close. One, there's one problem with this strat. That I'm gonna knock him off the horse and I really wanna spinning strikes him. It's the one issue. So we'll make a slight adjustment. Just use three different weapons. Easy. And I think I'll probably only go for two frost procs, because it's still annoying to proc frost on these guys. I think we'll lead with the frost procs so we can boost the damage of our answer a little bit. Well, no, I'm just gonna take it away. Hmm. Well, no matter what, it's just gonna fall off. Let's lead with the Frostbrock anyways. Please stop. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna go for a one front rock. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's fuck all of that. It's fucking nonsense. I think he's only done one move so far. There we go. I know you had other moves to show off. Respect that move more because that one's the one that most often hits me. That was very close. going a little faster than I thought. They're not over the lake yet. There's the three minute mark. Right, we need to make sure we have FP for when we knock down the horse. Oh. Try to trick me. Okay. Make sure I got this. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so now what do we do? We just keep doing this? It's getting unpredictable. <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> one down. <laughs> uh, all right, one more to go. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's too far from the caravan. We'll try to keep this one closer. What if it was like daytime <laughs> and the other one already went to bed? Wouldn't that be fucked up? <laughs> all right. Come on. Don't bring any pages with you. Just going with one frost rock. I don't know why. I feel like it's so dangerous. My weapon's all small and shit. There we go. <gasps> the Walmart pivot. All right, fuck this boss for now. I've had enough of that guy. At the moment, fuck everything about them. I, I can't blame that on a controller. Fucking Walmart pivot, fucking piece of shit, fucking garbage crap. Ah, uh, let's think. There's not really a lot of bosses here, eh? Yo, I oh oh, we don't have the keys. That's right. Buy some more keys. Oh, I forgot about the death bird. Yeah, there is a death. Oh my god, where do I even get keys from in this fucking game, dude? I don't know where. Bro. Every fucking time I can be a new game like fucking seven and I still run out of keys. That's like fucking impossible. How can you be in New Game 7 and not have enough fucking keys to the fucking game? I'm like, none of them are here. I don't know where to get keys from. What the fuck? No, I bought all the keys in the entire fucking game. Yeah, we did the whole Volcano Manor. But I'm used to this. Bro, I've bought every key in the fucking game. How can I be missing them? It doesn't make any sense. I hate this mechanic so much. Ooh, wouldn't it be cool if it was fucking... Shinies, you had to go find to open up chests that contain shinies. <gasps> Just give me the fucking look. The end shiny. Why are we bringing a bonus shiny into this fucking equation? Why? You could just give me the fucking shiny. He's got me on tilt, man. I tried the twin husk. I bought every key in the entire game, guys, and we're still missing some. I don't know where the fuck they are.
North of the fort, we haven't got that one. By where the jellyfish are? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't have that one. We need one more. Top of a pillar and so free, uh... Man, we're gonna need more keys, too. Fuck, this is impossible. This is the, I think this is the thing that pisses me off the most in Elden Ring, this goddamn fucking key struggle. Every single time I play this fucking game. All right, there's one. Now we need another one. I got nothing. Pretty sure there's only like six keys in the game. Y'all just make it up. Well, let's go kill the fucking tree because that's easy boss to kill. Sophia's the next easiest. I don't know what you're talking about. On that one. I bought every key from every merchant in the game and I still need more. True story. Oh, I missed the key in the Dragon Burnt Ruins. Uh, okay. Okay, that's a good one. By a little rat. Oh, the bridge. Okay, we'll get this key. I didn't grab the twin blade either. But this gets us a uh, two for one bonus. I don't know, I might have grabbed this key. But I didn't get the twin blade. Oh, oh, I think I saw a shiny. Yes. That was a level of jank that I can't begin to approach. I got like stuck sideways on the horse. The rat one shot me. All right. Kind of the jump attack talisman in Stormvale. That's easy to get to. Um, we'll just keep that one in my back pocket for when I need more keys. Certainly I'll remember. All right, let's go kill a shit tree. Yeah, well, I'll definitely remember that one. Don't worry. I'm sure it's weak to axe damage or something. I wonder if there's a better way than a stock. Ah, too late. This is fine. Tree should be a walk in the park. Use Black Flame Hand Axe or Lore? I wish. Don't you need two keys for this? I need them for that fucking... Misbegotten, dude. So allegedly you can farm the full moon garb off those dudes, but... There seemed to be some controversy about that in the chat. This tree did not come prepared for the weather. Considering he is in the frosty place. And still has ridiculous, terrible frost resistance.
That would have been cool if they made this one immune to frost. Or what if he shot frost mist? Oops, instead of rot, right? She takes more damage if your fashion is better. This fashion is called optimal. This is the button the Soul Spiner makes for you. It gives us four whole faith. That's very rude. Stupid tree doesn't know if he only spammed that one attack. You wouldn't, he would never lose. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Classic story of Elden Ring boss, right? Dumb fuck, all he needed to do is laser me and then I can't do anything. <laughs> Tony, what's happening? There we go. Easy tree fight for little babies. I mean, we could go dabble with the death bird. Huh? Ah. I'm gonna go turn off that mausoleum, otherwise it's gonna drive me fucking insane. Oh, I gotta kill these duelists, too. I think you can eat the one off the cliff. Walking bong bong? <laughs> I'm gonna start calling them bong bongs. <laughs> it's because of the sound they make. <laughs> Will they experience frame losses on the place? Oh god! <laughs> Fuck this thing. Fuck this thing. Dragon breath it? I mean, I could. Well, I mean. Sure. Just because you asked. I think you asked last week too. Oh shit, Antenna's gonna be here too. 
Yeah, so this is the quest that you guys always tell me I should do and it takes forever so I don't do it to get the smithing stone. Alright, let's try Dragon Breath Tuck. But does he fall asleep during... Okay, I hate this. Does he uh, fall asleep at night? Dragon Breath Tuck sucks. We have it one more shot. Maybe he falls asleep. I think that's the thing that the turtles do. It did work well. Yeah, that's a, that's good tech. I'm pretty sure one of the turtles falls asleep at night, right? Some of them? Alright. Another death bird. The last one in the game, I dare say. They actually do fall asleep. Cool. Oh yeah, now we have all the pothead shit. And the talisman. Oh my god, this bird's gonna get fucked up, I think. Uh, faith? Looks good. I think we're ready. I don't have the jellyfish shield yet. It's a good idea, though. Uh, we haven't used it in a single fight. We don't even have it yet. What am I doing here? I swear I was doing so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last Rites is better for this, I think. No, Sacred Blade doesn't nearly do the damage that this does. I would like to do this buff in the RTSR, but I'm not sure where to stand. I mean, I guess I can RTSR right now. last long enough. And that's how you fight a death bird. <laughs> 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 uh. 
That just like that. No M7 never done. Nice 561,000 runes. <laughs> that was the cleanest effort we had the whole game. <laughs> Fuck, it was harder to kill the turtle. <laughs> so if you guys ever have problems with death birds, that's what you do, okay? That's what you do. Because if we can do it at level one, <laughs> you can do it on a real build. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Okay. Hold on a second. I have to farm this during... I, I was planning on just doing the puzzle. But we have to farm them. Right? Otherwise I can't go... in... to farm them? I don't need a central torch. The... We need to farm the archer's gear set. The ones on the wolves are way worse, so I think we'll not do this right now. I don't know how to farm the ones and wolves. Those things suck. You know, I think we'll leave that as tomorrow's problem, guys. I think we'll leave in the high point of that death bird kill. Then we'll uh, knock out some more bosses tomorrow, guys. Yeah, I am hungry. So, call it a little bit early today, but it's been a blast getting back in the saddle on this run. It has been so much fun, guys. So, it's nice to be back streaming. Um, let's see here. Um, where are we going today? You know what, let's raid a random Elden Ring streamer. Eh? Let's do it. You're all supposed to stay here and say hello, okay? Make a good impression. Make a good impression. Alright, who speaks English? <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys will love this. I found just the person. <laughs> Where can I go? I hope you guys like anime and titties, because we're going to go meet someone brand new. Please spam some emotes for me while well, I'm asking. That would be really fucking cool of you. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow if you're around. Have a fantastic rest of your evening, everybody.